can get to your profile and follow you? Yeah, guests on broadcasts, whenever they're being viewed on mobile, can't follow without a comment in the chat. Silly billies. Oh, yeah. Well, they here, can, what, they what can if follow I do the this? main broadcaster, but they can't follow any of the guests because it doesn't show up their names. So. What if I do this? Hi, knowledge. What are we doing? I can do that. And you should be able to get to it from there, right? Maybe. Yes. I would think so. Work. Yes. Okay. Oh, hey, Badges is now live streaming on on yes on Twitch. So if I Isn't go to my magical? phone here and I go to watching and I go to Twitch, then I realize you know we what I'm not everybody. following her. Hi, so we go Badges four twenty. It's true. We look that up and look. It says here. Oops. It helps and we're going to click on her and we're going to say hello. Oh. Hi. And look, Hi, it says here. Friends. We're going to we're going to we're going to drop the volume down so we're not double broadcasting. Look, there you are. <laughs> okay, yeah, there. Now I'm following you. <laughs> badges of wisdom. Is that We have how an it infinite works? window of badges. To follow on mobile. Yeah, I think um, the mobile app only allows you to follow the broadcaster and anybody that comments in the chat, you can click on them and, and view, profile, follow, whatever. But if you have any guests on, like um, the desktop shows Jeremy plus however many others you can click on and it shows you all the people that have been guests in the live. That's not available in the mobile app that I'm aware of. I don't do a lot of mobile casting or viewing. I did my first couple broadcasts, but once I got a webcam, I've done all exclusively desktop broadcasting. Yeah. Oh, that pixel life, yo. It's something else. So what is your name going to be if you ever get out of the pixel world? I'll just go back to being old, plain old badges. I don't think that's gonna work. You're, you're gonna you you've already gone Ugh. royalty with the Pixel Princess. You I've can't got, give up your I've crown. Got, I have a life of nobility now. <laughs> oh lord, I don't know. I may have to have uh, the community bestow a title. Hi, Resla. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 4K all day. Badges. Here we go. Except this is all like 1080. There's no 4K. <laughs> Hi, Res Lindsay. Actually, I've had people very, very much confused by my little name change. And I'm like, really, guys? Really? Yeah. Um, when they were looking for you on um, Milk's broadcast, they're like, why yeah. can't I find Lindsay? Why can't we? And someone's because like, I think you're not you badges. And they're like, there she is. Yeah, exactly. Everybody knows me. They type in Lindsay instead of badges, which is fine. Mm -hmm. I thought I've been training them enough to know that that's what my name is. But Oh, well. Badges it's is just good. one form of this personality. It's not even my yeah, final I've been form. In, I've been in many broadcasts where I've interacted with live streamers, you know, and, and on almost the daily basis. And they're like, is that the badges that I know? <laughs> I'm like, how many badges do you see in a life? Really? Is that a thing? But, you know. Who are you, imposter? It is I. Blink three times with your third eye if you're the real badges. Oh, but how would you know? I feel like Michelle has more guests. <laughs> um, I think they like her more. Hello there, Do you Willie. bite people? Do you bite people when we're not I, I looking? I invited like quite a few people, I thought. 
Well, I know Joe usually is running amok throughout Florida with his lovely bride yeah, on the weekend. Yep, it is. Yeah. So he normally doesn't join us until extremely late. Hello, Don. Greetings. Welcome to the sketch party where I'm not sketching. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I... Hello, Hello Don. Would office. you like to come up and draw with us? Don would have to come over to the dark side of Haps. Yeah, come well, to the Don, dark. You, well, should, you should come to the Haps. Come see what's happening on Haps, and then you can come join us on the screen. We don't bite hard. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, Don. I'll be here all night, folks. I'll be here all night. Three. CS said that when he finishes up, he may come over. Uh, he is pushing himself on a deadline that he has to meet. Gotcha. So. Um, he's, he's did, did Riley say anymore. he was going to bed? I did not hear anything. I know he said that he wasn't sure he would be able to make it earlier in his show because yeah. he was tired. So I think well, Riley was like, Peace sleep out. Is, is definitely more important. Fireworks and storm warning here. What? That sounds exciting. Actually. Storms and fireworks? How do you tell what's going off? So if you shoot off the fireworks at the storms, does it scare them away? Never tried. Or does it just put them out? Like, Tom says, hello, Jeremy. Okay, now I want to put him in the number one spot. That would probably, like make certain but then I need to use their go minds. like this and say fit to container. So you know how dog thunderstorms and fireworks, if they happened at this time, would they like internally combust? There we go. Now we can see all your drawings, sir. Look, I'm learning this stuff. Canadian version of nuke in a hurricane. <laughs> Let's send up colorful lights at this thing. It's sure to be a joy. It will scare it away and it will never return. Ha ha. I'm going to have to ask you kindly, sir, to please move along. But if you don't want to, it's quite all right. <laughs> I was co uh, quoting Super Troopers 2 in Riley's room earlier. Oh, were you? Um, I don't know if you understood that, but this is what it came from. And he was like, uh, no, don't know what you're talking I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> totally wasted a good joke. See, now the thing is, is, I'd have to be reminded that it was that because i've only seen super troopers a few times the first one or the second probably both okay. i i've watched them and i know i've seen them at least more than once each, okay but well let me let me remember how it goes i i don't know that i've got okay so it was in reference we were talking about y'all's um infamous hashtag yeah that you have going on and the quote from the movie that I used was key to laugh is happy in your household, but you have to say it in a French Canadian accent. <laughs> Happiness in your household. Yes. Okay. Yes. I have. Uh, yep. Yes. We sure made that rain pretty though. I bet. You know, I, I've now we've had. My town puts on a festival every first Saturday in December, and they call it Christmas in Ida. And I'll probably broadcast a little bit from it this year if they decide to put the parade on. Last year, they did not. COVID and all. They did let the fireworks off, but a lot of times, for whatever reason, it is really foggy on that first Saturday in December. It's like it, mm -hmm. we haven't quite got snow a lot of times, but there's this weird weather front that comes in. 
And so when they let the fireworks off, it is a very interesting display to see fireworks and fog. Yeah, it probably amplifies the light. Glow, yeah, it, it spreads really out cool. like crazy. I would think that would be really rad, actually. Okay, so um, I drew for my hat, and tonight we're doing um, band ribbons, and that's what we're doing for our art. Oh, amazing. I mean, not band mm -hmm. ribbons, but football ribbons. Sorry. Band I ribbon. said band because, again, I, mean, I was a band dad. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you got to do it. got to do it. It's the art challenge of the day. It would help if the knots were tied a little bit closer to the middle, though. Well, well, this broadcast is up to 92 views, so that's a good thing. Yeah. We like our Saturday sketch party views. We love it. Thank we you for all your people you. coming in and watching. I promise you can comment. We won't bite. As she as said, as hard. Not, yeah, hard. <laughs> you feel Randy? Yes. Just don't call me Randy. It'll be fine. It's not my bag, baby. No, not what about this book that says, this is your bag, baby? In a bag. By Austin with Powers. Your name on it. <laughs> I could watch those movies every day. Oh, that kind of humor is just fantastic. I love it. You know, it's funny because when he was working on the second one, he had made a statement that he wanted to make as many Austin Powers as there were James Bonds. Yeah, but it kind of fizzled out after the third one, and I was a little disappointed. I was like, "Oh, come on, you can still do more." He probably did want to do more. It's just about getting the funding to do said thing, right? But I mean, he did do like Love Group Guru and stuff later. So, yep. It's like, sorry, Austin, we're cutting you off. I'm wondering whether we'll get a uh, geriatric uh, Wayne's World. Probably, probably. We got and I say that in the nicest term because you know, if they can do Bill and Ted, they can definitely do Wayne's World. Come on. Whoa! Right. June tune is done. Yay! And we have for slam. Slam. I think I'm just gonna do double doodles for the. It'll be the all double doodle all, all a day. <laughs> for the wrestling. week next week. Yeah, you could do double duty all next week. Yeah, it's probably going to finish, gonna finish up to uh, the month with two two a days. Yeah, let's see. How many am I behind? Three. Yeah, so you're, far. Yeah, you're. That's three not too bad. Right now. That's not too bad. No, it's really not. I mean, what Joe didn't start till four days in, right? Right, but he was also drawing like two inch simplified ones correct but <laughs> i'm doing still... like eight and a half ones yeah, but yes yeah, it is very doable you know that sounds like when i tackled mermaid for the first time and i decided i was going to do them on uh 11 by 17 sheets of paper oh yeah 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 that i would never do that that well, that's I wanted to a try lot to work in a larger scale for for you know for the first time i love that oh it's and... bedtime everyone I did well for the first like three, and then I realized that I can't draw. Jesus my Christ, my house is insane. I'm sorry. Yes, insanity. Insanity is good. I have to comment on your your room. Hi, great broadcast. Let's see if it comes up on here. Ha-ha! Look at that! It's me! Great, now you guys all know my secret gamer tag name. That's you? That's me. I'll have to follow you. And then uh, I can I host... Really do, I don't really do much on there. If you uh, multi-stream to Twitch, I can host you. And you can get more viewage. Ooh! Never thought of that. Happy Father's Day, if anyone's into yeah. that. Well, man, that reminds me. I'm going to have to call my father, who I haven't talked to in like a year.
Good night, little badges. Yes, good night, little badges. It is time of the evening where we tuck in the badges of the many varieties. Well, I don't. He does. Of doom. Why is it that I always remember these parts of the projects going so much faster? <laughs> Good night, Good night sis. Mom. Good night, mommy's bread. <laughs> It is going to be 87 tomorrow. 10% warmer than today. Woo I'll take that. That's actually a nice temperature. It's a little warm, but it's not like stupid warm. Let's see. What, what is my temperature right now? It says it is 70 here right now. Knock it off. No, not cool. Seventy and slightly rainy. Okay, check my picture and I can get this posted to Instagram real quick. Then I'm going to work on coloring a different June Tunes Day, which was Voltron. Oh, nice. Uh, question, question for you. Uh, yeah. what, did, did you watch the, uh, the new series? I've watched the first two or three seasons. And then mm -hmm. I took a break from it because I was watching other things. And then they came out with like, five seasons after that and I was like whoa when did all these seasons come out but I have liked the new season series yeah yeah I like that add, add a lot um, a lot of new a lot of new stuff to the mythos and kind of mixing between the originals between the, the original series and the Japanese series yeah it felt like that to me too. Okay. Oh, I gotta get. Whew, that was intense. Okay. Okay, this seems rather repetitive. Let's get the, the music somewhere else, shall we? There we go. Yeah, we got to make sure it's not copyrighted music for your Twitch streaming. Yeah, some of that stuff gets a little crazy. I figured I'd give it a shot just because I was like, yeah, why not? Yeah. You just kind of have to find what fits your groove. Because sometimes I'm in the mood for funky, crazy music, and sometimes I'm a little more chill. And, mm -hmm. you know. And sometimes I want Bon Jovi. Except, oh, Lord, yes. I know. I know. <laughs> I get that. Sometimes I just want to rock out to Britney Spears. So hey, no doubt. There's nothing wrong. Oh, so... Several of the boys from No Doubt, not No Doubt, uh, NSYNC and Backstreet Boys got together this weekend to, oh. to join together mm. and sing music from each of their respective bands at some venue in California. And th That's they fun. said, do we call ourselves uh, Backsync or N Boys? Okay. And I was like, That's kind of funny. Let's not and say we did. That's that's a no for me. 
Don't leave the marketing to the marketers. Yeah. You're just saying, please. Oh boy. I mean, what's next? The Beach Boys and New Kids on the Block gonna cross together? Um, wouldn't it be nice? What? Uh, speaking of 120 degrees, I was speaking with. Um. Oh, I think her handle is Miscreate. She's an artist on here. She was on this morning doing some painting. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. And she's in Las Vegas and said that her temperature this morning when I was talking to her at 11 o'clock was 111 degrees. Mm -hmm. And that tomorrow her temperature is supposed to be 119. I was yeah, like, okay, I don't um, care how dry the heat is. At 119, you're still cooking. Who'd you say it was Miscreate, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, she's the one that was on... Uh, she's she joins in with bobby a lot on her her stream yeah. in the mornings uh yeah she she lives in las vegas and he gets so so she streams in the mornings yep yeah i caught her stream early this morning because i woke up and uh was getting ready to do some cooking and she happened to be on so i watched her show while i cooked and then ate yeah she's awesome sauce yeah she's a real sweet person we were talking about different places to live in Las Vegas, and that's one of my favorite subjects. So, cool. To the point where I've technically had a realtor for the past like eight years. Mm -hmm. They just know that I don't plan on buying anytime soon, so they just send me houses, and I just enjoy it. <laughs> that's so funny. And technically, it allows me to still look in at their realtor site and just look at homes. Because you have to be like, and you know, a member of their realtor yeah, group. Yeah, the MLS. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, I'm still looking, but I haven't found anything. Well, what are you looking for? Uh, a house for my family. Um, four walls, possibly yeah. a garage dwelling, maybe. I don't know. Well, what place are you looking for? Okay, I don't know yet, but I know that half of um, these places, this place, and this place, and this place, are well like out of it, my price range. I'd like it somewhere warm. Well, I Not don't next want to the air. Yeah, I don't want near the airport, and I don't want near the military base. So that knocks out yeah. two thirds of Las Vegas, and then one third of it is the really, really rich area. So there's basically like either just outside of Las Vegas I can go, or East Las Vegas, which is the other side of the Strip. So it'd be like. If you're looking at the strip map and it's running north and south, it would be the north. Well, technically, it'd be the northwest if you're looking at it like that. But they call it East Vegas. Right. Gotcha. Sounds super schnazzy. I'm almost done posting on. Uh, Instagram for the June tune stuff, and then I'll get back to on the old socials. Yeah, I try to get it before midnight. I really um, don't mind if I don't get something technically posted by midnight before, because my original rule for myself was to get something done on social media before midnight of every day. But oh, broadcasting wow. live is doing something. So if <laughs> anyone wants credit of whether I did it during that day, go watch the live <laughs> or the replay. There's proof. Yep, there is proof. Somebody calling you liar. You just send them right over here to me, little mister. I'll straighten them I right out. Do it. Box their ears. <laughs> what kind of box? Cardboard box? A styrofoam box? Mm, there's going to be duct tape involved Whoa. either way. Hey, speaking of which, here you go. I brought some. Oh, I was going to use some of that pretty pattern color. Oh, you've got the kind that you can make like butterflies and stuff. Do you out like of. do you like tie dye? <laughs> um I like ties that are dyed. Does that count? Do you like frozen? Yes. I do. I especially liked the part in the I second have... movie where out of random Olaf decides to call for Samantha, which happens to be my daughter's name, and she freaked out, like, wait, what? <laughs> That's amazing. I know. 
because she was such a huge fan of the first one and now like i had to fight with her to watch the second one because you know now she's at the time oh, yeah she was either it's not cool dad 11 or 12 and i was she's like i don't oh, really want to watch it i was like just sit down and watch it with us so we got it through and like that as soon as the you know he's like running through and samantha wait i don't even know it's samantha and i was like this is awesome and then she got into the movie so that's cool yeah um my kids were doing that shrieking siren sound for weeks oh did you just tell them to let it go Uh uh-uh because i was actually doing it with them (laughs) (laughs) it gets stuck in your head it does and i don't dare start or i'll do it again so spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen frozen 2 but um are are you of mind that we lost our Elsa and she's just a spirit now? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't something I was thinking of. I, yeah, yeah I, I pretty much was like, uh, that chick just done gone went crazy. Well, I figured, yeah, like she, you know, she, she died and that's why Olaf disappeared. And then she, you know, cause water remembers. So she came back. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. That, that was a interesting movie. Yeah, because they, they don't very often kill off their characters in, you know, especially no. characters like that in the Disney, but I was like, I think that's what they just did. Yeah, that's what I think. They just, she just went on a really long trip. That's what she... Right. That's why she can't come back to the regular world and the, her sister can mm. only visit her out in the woods. Yeah, as a spirit. Yeah. And does that mm. now mean that her sister has powers because she can talk to spirits? I guess they're all that's a wonky family storyline and they even um dive a little deeper to their origin story history of what their parents origins are in the the tv series once upon a time yeah when they bring Elsa into the storyline they really dive down (laughs) Woo! it gets dark I never got into that my my daughter watched all of once one time but i never got into it and by the time i was thinking about it it was already like four seasons in so i was like i'll just wait yeah my husband and i used to watch it like religiously for like the first i don't know three four seasons or so and then the storyline just got like really dragged on and on and on and so i kind of lost interest in it and uh, my daughter found it whenever she started discovering her streaming access <laughs> mm-hmm. and she was like mom come watch this with me and i was like oh this show i i was really kind of turned off by peter pan i did not like that part of the storyline um the 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 rest of it was fine until we started getting into like really weird desperate reaching stories to try to continue the show <laughs> Much so farther do, down the line. I think like season six or whatever. Do you get the strange bots that attack your account the minute you post anything on Instagram? So, yeah, sometimes. It depends on the hashtag. I think they're attached to hashtags okay. more specifically. Than, yeah, it depends on what I have attached. darn near blocked all of the places that promote. So that it doesn't even show up as a place for me anymore. Uh, then I'm going through and blocking the accounts that are posting it. So uh, it's dwindling down slowly my my block has gotten to be i, I like i said I, bought, I probably add I bought. six different blocks per day right now wow and it's gotten to the point where if i go to somebody else's account and i'm looking through their comments to see what people say hello don how's it going oh good night everyone good night. good night john good night i thought she was saying hello for a second i just glanced over there and i was like no dingy she's saying goodbye She's saying goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Have a good day. Enjoy your rest. Of the evening. Enjoy your day if it's not. Hell, take a nap and enjoy your rest anyway. Okay, so we're going to color this guy with colored pencil because marker will be way too muddy. 
We don't need any muddy buddies. It'll be muddiness. Uh, Luke says good night to you, Dawn, as well. From over here in Haps Land. I know you can't read the Haps comments, so I will tell you that much. Dawn? How annoying is that sound? Because I can totally mute myself while I'm curling this. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Over over. I was wondering what that was at first, and then I was like, oh, I know what she's doing now. I guess I could, like, switch my camera and you guys could watch me curl, because it's really not that exciting. But you can. Yeah. It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you how to art. No, it's okay. Um, whenever I have someone on Twitter, I try to make comments. Yes. What question do you have from Twitchland? Gilly boy. And the, what is it? Gilly boyu? Gilly boy. What's up? How's it going? Yes, I'm aware this is not sketching. Just going to preface that. It is still oh. art, though. Uh-oh. a winner. Hold on. What is the... Okay, so it's, yeah, somebody called you something that they're not allowing us to say on here, well, but uh, when someone calls you I don't know how to help you that, sort that. So. I would just... Block and move on. I don't know, either ignore them or, like about to do. you know, like I said, don't give them the power. Stop the power. Fight the power. I mean, it's, it, it, from what, whatever reason they're saying that, they're, they're coming probably from a, a place of pain and they're just looking to bring you to their place. And that's, you know, like I said, not something that, uh, and I know it's hard to, to come through that and say, hey, you know what? I'm bigger than that. Hello, and welcome to Jeremy's Therapy Couch, where we talk to trolls about trolls on trolling. <laughs> Very good. Not a problem, buddy. Very good. Yeah. And I only come at that as years of, of, of putting up with people telling me stuff and letting it bring me down. Then I was one day just going, wait, why am I doing this? So it, it's not like I'm some profound like guy that's like, I got awesome wisdom. But I've, I've learned to, uh, he is good at this. to try to overcome stuff. He's awesome. I, you know what? That's, that's really funny you should say that because honestly, Luke, I'm just a bot. <laughs> but I've also had to have many a talks with my teenage daughter who is just now getting into online stuff and people saying things and she's like what do I do and I'm like well you have two options here you don't <laughs> you react you can either become real know. sarcastic like I did and, and end up having to run through half of your life because you said something wrong to someone much bigger than you. <laughs> oh, yes. Which I did that so happen. much. Or you can be a bigger person, which is the much harder route. And go from there. And I'm 50-50 on which way I'm at any given day of my life because I'm a very sarcastic person. So if someone sets me off, Usually sarcasm wins. Mm-hmm. Oh, it helps if you curl it the right way. There we go. Music's so energetic tonight. It's like do 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 do. It's kind of good for tunes. Yeah. It's like I said, this one here says it is. Three hours of music, no copyright, best music gaming. Yeah. So we'll see. If I was gaming, I would have turned this off already and been, been like, I got to find something better because this is sounds like I'm yeah, playing Zelda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hey, now I like me some Zelda. I do too, but you know Zelda Zelda music gets a little repetitive. You can. can. Especially the whole. I don't like Lon Lon Ranch. That was never really my jam. But, you know, it is what it is. Which ones do you like? Oh gosh, uh, which one did I like? I like the 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 underwater temples music. Usually, were my favorite. Hmm. And the shop music, I actually kind of liked that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I like the music when you pick up a chicken and try to run with it. <laughs> I told I did I tell you guys that I went to the symphony performance of all the Zelda soundtracks? No. It was live orchestra as the Oklahoma Philharmonic played the Oklahoma City Philharmonic played all of the Zelda. Was it? Oh, wow. Yeah. And they had like a, a big screen back behind the orchestra that like played like all the game cutscenes oh, and stuff nice. and like the intros. And uh, yeah, it was like multiple hours of video game music played live. <laughs> God, it was so nerdy, but it was great. Yeah, it was the Legend of Zelda Symphony. And, uh, when my door is shut over there, it has the poster on the back of it. So, like, it was, like, all of the game's music. So, any of the, you know, Skyward Sword, uh, Twilight Princess, all the way to the OG games, uh, and anything in between. Uh, Josh and I have played both of them. all Not both of them. All of them. And so, it was very um, reminiscent all the multiple hours so we've can played. I challenge you on that uh, sure because most people when they say I've played all of the Zeldas and I'm like really all of them right and they're like yes every single one of them and I'm like okay so you played the Philips CDI two uh, Zelda uh, games that came out for the Philips CDI machine only and they're like huh <laughs> <laughs> and I was like yeah it's the only non-Nintendo Zelda games that exist and they're like yep. I, I didn't know anything about that. that i'm like yes mm-hmm. and i wouldn't expect you to because it was a flop i didn't machine. ever own the regular or super nintendo games until they were out later on like the the gold edition master collection that came out with the uh, i believe it was wasn't the 64 i think it was the gamecube that had the okay. big collection that came out and it had all of the games released okay. on Nintendo systems up until that point. It was right. Amazing. Now that being said, if anyone did ever play the Philips CDI ones, I apologize because oh my god, those things were horrible. They were they were so so bad. They were. It was basically like uh, the, the gameplay was almost across. <laughs> He's frustrated just thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, it, it was it was almost a cross between watching like a badly drawn anime, and then the side scrolling for Zelda Two. Mm. And it was bad, so so bad. <laughs> Look it up on YouTube sometime, and you'll cry. I, will. Okay. I showed it to a friend of mine, and she was. Right, to say the least. Listen to the ASMR of her ribbons. Yeah, yeah the Panasonic 3DO console. I remember seeing it inside the store at um, we had a Circuit City. And I remember Circuit City carried that, and there were their big thing was, yeah, come check out 
this because we've got the Zelda oh, game. Circuit City. But I want to say that the system was like seven hundred ninety nine dollars back in ninety. What? Let's say four or five. I can't even remember exactly, but we're gonna say that. And uh, yeah, that was it. That was expensive. Pretty expensive. And then I want to say that the game itself was a couple hundred bucks anyways. So who's this character that you're drawing? I don't recognize him. Uh, Lloyd Folker from Robotech and or Macbox. Yes. Okay. Why do I not remember this guy? And if anyone ever made it through the first season of Macross and your ears didn't bleed from Min May singing, good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, he laughs because he knows. <laughs> uh, you know, they think there's maybe maybe one professional singer throughout the whole series, and that's kind of towards the end. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I want to say probably the only reason why some of us made it back then was because we actually got only weekly episodes and it wasn't like we tried binging it. You try binging it now and it's like, <gasps> why am I doing this to myself? Yes. Yeah, see, I, it was so weird. I never got into the Myst game. I, I could never understand Mist it. Game? Yeah, M Y S T. Like, on the computer? Yes. Yeah, I played it, beat it. It was wild. Um, yeah. My dad and I used to always joke about bring me the blue pages, bring me the red pages. Yeah, it was. Um, that was crazy, wild, mysterious game I've ever played mysterious? in my Mysterious? Are you punning us? Mysterious, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I just never could get into it. I was too well, busy was, playing uh, other games. Riven, though. Riven was the sequel to that, and I didn't get very far in that one, and I kind of lost interest in it because it was like a completely different world, a completely different storyline. You know, it was like, I don't even know what's happening. It was hard enough to figure out the first game. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's it. I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't figure it out. I love puzzle games. Um, that's one of the reasons why I love Zelda so much is because of all the puzzles that are in it. And it's, so Mist is a big, uh, a big old puzzle game, but it's like very difficult puzzle game. <laughs> My idea of a good puzzle game was Leisure Suit Larry. Oh. <laughs> we just don't have that. <laughs> and that was said as a joke. No one come at me in the comments. Oh. Okay. So there we go. Two June tunes colored. Impressive. What else do I have to color? I don't know. Stuff. Stuff. I could color Jin Urso, a Pokemon I don't know whose name it is. Wanda. Cecil the Sea Six Serpent. Those all need colored. Let's do Cecil. Okay. We shall move these up. I even have the, the little Mattel badge on here. The, Ooh. Yeah. Fancy. Because if it's got to be a puppet, it's got to be a puppet. Where is my... So we have a bunch of different packages that come in at my work. Mm -hmm. 
and a lot of them have flyers on them from other companies because we we get bins and totes that go around the uh, metal you know making industry and you know so one company may use the same tote as we do so it'll ship yeah. from them to us and whatnot. Okay. So I I always get them and try to recreate different things out of what the saying says, and so I cut oh. this out that says certified. Because that's that's always good, and then and then I cut this out, and I, I was keeping this on my locker for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I cut yes. this out and worked out and put it on incoming. But yeah, so that that was my. I love it. That was on my locker for a while, and then I took it down before like HR decided to call me. In Mr. Stoltz, I don't think that's appropriate <laughs> for the workplace. Can we have a word with you about what's on your behavior locker? Is frowned upon. We're up to 121 views, people. Oh, Draw more yeah. Robotech. People like it, Anthony. All right. Oh, sweet. Make it so. They want a, uh, a Veritech fighter. Ooh, okay. Fighting round. I remember watching one of them in theaters. It was Macross 2, I think. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I can remember about the whole movie was they had some guy who was the main character of the show. And he was supposed to be like a reporter or something. And there was some big fight that started out. And the guy's like, let, let me go help. Let me fight. And they're like, can you even fight? And they're like, do you even have your Macross license? And he's like, in my back pocket. And that's <laughs> the only thing that I can remember about that whole movie was just like, in my back pocket. Because <laughs> everyone keeps their fighter pilot. You know, license in their back pocket. Stickers on many of my coworkers. That's funny. And tomorrow's the big presentation for all this stuff, right, Lindsay? Yes. What time? One o'clock. Ooh. Yeah, you'll be up until at least one making these. No, 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 no. These will be done shortly, and then I will tie them on the bags and be done with them. Everything else is done. Just this. This is the only thing. And the tissue. I'm going to throw tissue in there. That doesn't take but a second. Okay. Hmm. I have an Instagram message from Models Shout Out Hub IG wants to send you a message. Oh. I wonder what that's about. <laughs> All your dreams are about to come true. My favorite was getting an email from some person that stated, hi, I just ran across your, you know, webpage on Instagram and thought you'd be a good fit for our company. If you'd like, send me an email back and we will, uh, you know, we, we'll, we'll get you put into our you know, interview process. And it was like international women's joy of something. And I was like, hmm. How did that work? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I was like, um... I don't know what kind of vibes I'm giving off, but, but it ain't that. I was like, yeah, I was like, first, if you know, you you checked out my Instagram profile, you probably would be able to figure out that I'm I'm not. But just so you know, I'm I'm, I'm not feminine and haven't been. So um, I'm going to decline your offer. <laughs> Thanks for the interest, but yeah, I, I don't gonna... think I'm going to be. Anytime soon. At this point in time, I'm not interested. Okay, so we have a green serpent. He's got red mouth and nose. And blue fins. Okay, you can do this. Just gotta take my deficiency in blue and and bring it. Let's see, yeah, that color blue. 
we're going to go with blue violet instead of sky blue. Yeah, very nice. He wore blue violet. Blue eyes. We once spent a day carefully placing little orange OK to ship stickers on many of my coworkers. We have the OK to ship, and we used to have OK to assemble. Oh, I like your those first stickers. PS3. PS4. Or PS4. Four, three. Yeah, PS4. Three. What is a PS4? Three. I don't understand what that means. <laughs> yeah, I'm drawing the blank. Yeah, like, I mean, most of the game prices are right around that now. Just, you know, back when I was only making. Oh, what was I making in 95? Is it a four inch three? A PS4 inch three? This was a big I was probably making like four dollars an hour back in ninety-five. Yikes. So to buy a seven hundred dollar machine would have been a no. That ain't happening, folks. Because back then I was paying a lot for insurance because I was just a young guy and I was getting tickets every other week because I didn't know how not to go like ninety five miles an hour down a twenty five mile an hour zone. Because Geico didn't exist? Well, it's not my fault. Every time Highway to Danger Zone came on, I had to drive fast. Danger Zone! Of course you did. It's so fluffy. Look at all that fluffy. Hard not to think of that song without thinking of Archer. Right? Like Archer. Let's see what, uh, Man, my internet's running this slow on the phone. And they said that they were going to throttle my internet after <laughs> so many gigabytes. They weren't lying. It's lying. It's just, okay, let's, let's start over and look that up. I don't hear the music anymore. Did it stop? Uh, you know, it may have done one of those things where it pauses because I wasn't... Are you still there? Yes. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay, let's try this again. Play. Yeah, it does that to me all the time. Darn that, YouTubers. Darn you, YouTube, trying to be like Netflix. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Netflix, is there anything you're currently watching on there or waiting for it to come out? Um, I'm watching Sweet Tooth at the moment. I just started that last night. I think we watched the first and, two episodes. Uh, uh, of course, Loki's on Disney Plus, not Netflix, but we're also uh, keeping up with that one as well. Um, just watched Raya and the Last Dragon the other day with the kiddos on the Disney's. I have yet to watch and Luke, that one. Luca released, Luca released um, the new Pixar movie. That just released on Friday, I think, yesterday. No, I thought Bay was a, I thought Bay was a, a Pixar movie. Uh, it, it's Disney Animation. Okay. Which is same company, different animators, whatever. Right. It doesn't make sense why they do it two different ways, but it is what it is. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to give <laughs> reference to this. So okay. probably knock about five minutes off of that because of the weighted thing. So I was at a putt putt golf in one town 
And the okay. Fusar that I worked at slash played at was quite a ways away. Now, from my house to the Qzar, it's 20 minutes. But like I said, What's you can probably knock about five minutes off because you're not actually going back to my house. You're just running up the same expressway. But from my house to the putt-putt that I was at is another 25 minutes. So basically okay. from that putt-putt to that Qzar is probably about 35 minutes drive. Okay. I made it in 12 minutes once. Oh, well, aren't you a speed demon? Well, we're at Putt-Putt, and we got a page, and so we called them back, because we had pagers then, and mm -hmm. my coworker proceeds to tell us all that, hey, somebody challenged us, and you have to get back here. And we're like, well, yeah, but we're in Ypsilanti, which, again, you know, quite a ways away. And they're like, well, we bought you tickets, and you're in the next game, so you've got you know, less than 15 minutes. You better hurry. Oh, no. So Jeez. we piled into my car and I drove down there and I popped in, you know, Top Gun soundtrack and we made it before the second song was done. Wow. It was a testament to speeding. <laughs> oh, Willie just corrected himself. PS3, I mean. Really? Yeah, I probably spent that much on PS3. I bought one of the initial PS3s that came out that was backwards compatible to PlayStation 1 and 2. But I, I, I exploited the sale that was going on at Blockbuster at the time, which was... Are you talking about the, the Saturn? The PS3? No. No. Yeah, before. I never okay. bought a Saturn. Okay. Carry on. That was before that time. Yeah, I was I was working at a blockbuster at the time PS3 came out, and it came out right around Christmas time. And it was I want to say it was five hundred bucks, but we had a sale at Blockbuster that for every fifty dollars you spent or you bought a gift card for fifty dollars, you get a free five dollar gift card. So I bought, yeah. you know, 400 and some odd dollars worth of gift cards, got the free $5 ones for every 50 and, you know, got basically a PS4 for just a little less than 500 Sweet. Uh, two was the eye reader that read the PS2. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, this one here also read PlayStation 1 games as well. I still have it. It's sitting the backwards compatible. over that way somewhere in this room. That's one thing I've always liked about Sony is their backwards compat compatibility. Hmm. Did it, you know, I just, did it do, uh, still do some uh, compatibility with the uh, 4 and 5? Yes, they did. Okay. Um, yeah. The five will play four games. Yeah. Babe, the PS5 only play backwards to four, correct? Yeah, PS4 and PS5 games on the five. See, now I know the PS4 game would not play PS3 oh, games, Look at all this but crunch. you could download PS3 games. But if you put a disc in, it it's wouldn't so read it. Fluffy. That's a lot of fluff. Okay, that's enough fluffiness for right now. And now we draw. Ha ha. It only took like two hours of my life. So, Lindsay, did you happen to click on the, uh, or were you even able to click on to see if uh, what the what the blurred message was from our twitch person yes okay i was wondering if you read it i was like hmm how do i respond yep, to i read this? it <laughs> yep i yep. think i responded well i think you did just fine you did better than i you were much nicer i been like really really so if, Get out of here, if i have ps 
three now on the PS4, I'd be able to put PS3 physical games in and play, or is it that you play the PS3 games by having the PS now? Uh, I thought you could just, I thought you could do both. I could be wrong. I can't find the right color green, but I won't find this. Let's look in here. Ooh, that looks like it might be a good one. Let's try. Yep, that's the color green I want. Huzzah. We're going with a Windsor and Newton brush. Okay. okay. Haps. Yeah, I do Chill not pay for the PlayStation now. Dang. All right. This picture. Possibly that picture. Okay. Doom, 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 doom. But I also do not have a PlayStation 5 yet. I do have multiple PlayStation 4s. Oh, yeah. Welcome, Diggs. What's up, Diggs? How's it going? How is Twitch land for you tonight? How is the land of the Twitch treating you? Ooh, pretty, pretty. So, hey, what, what, what if I just started doing this? What? Why? And just my finger started twitching. Would, would that be a good or a bad um, thing, Lindsay? Um, for your health, I would be concerned. <laughs> well, I, I would be too, especially after watching Sweet Tooth. Yeah. I'd be like, oh no. Except it, it, it wasn't it was it the pinky or was it the ring? I finger? thought it was the pinky. I, I thought it was too. I would be a little bit concerned. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. It's true. Ooh, it is raining hard outside right now. I don't. Wow. That's good. Wow. All right. That's a big storm coming through. So I've been on the go so much the last couple of days that I actually printed off my reference pictures and stuffed it in my book. Did you? Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did. Need to get my printer working. I've got a really nice printer, and it's not that it's not working, but I mean, I've got to get it plugged in and connected to this computer so that I can actually use the printer. It's got a really nice scanner to yeah. it. Yeah. It does almost sound like hail. I never oh, had hail. a Dreamcast, and it's one that I wanted. Another system that I never had but did get to play on was a Neo Geo. I do want to get both of those. The latest Sega that I ever got was a Sega CD. And I have that still around here somewhere. Sega. My Nintendo, my NES is still hooked up. My N64 and a Wii is hooked up downstairs. I have the Xbox 360 hooked up here. A PlayStation 1 Slim is hooked up here. And no, my Atari is not hooked up anymore. I had my Atari hooked up, but I do not have my Atari hooked up right now. Well, that's a crying shame. Here, let me go full screen for a minute. I want to show. I want to rock. Lindsay and Gerald, my printer I was talking about, and then tell them how much. I picked it up at a Goodwill for 20 bucks. And is that printer right there? That's a nice one. Yeah. Holy that's what I said. It is a really nice. And I got it for because 20 of the bucks? scanner. Dang. 
and it's why it's got Wi-Fi to it, so I should be able to just get it connected to the old computer right here. The old computer room. No problem. If not, I know it's got the port to it that I can connect, but I gotta get that thing hooked up. Yeah, this is that old computer I was telling you about the worlds and twirls. Oh, okay. That's the one that I just don't turn on. Oh, look, it comes with them cup holders. Yes. Is that a tape drive? Um, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. The, like I said, it, 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 it was uh, 2002 was when yeah. that thing was put together. My my dad ro totally rocked the uh, the tape drive for a long time. I mean, I may or may not have replaced the floppy on there. <clears throat> yeah, when the operating system fits on like four tape drives. <laughs> yeah. You have to like s switch them out. Well, I, I thought oh, I was doing days. so good when I like upgraded to Windows XP on it, and then that's the last system that went on there. Oh, let me get you guys back on now. Sorry, guys. And let's put you back over on one because that's where you belong, sir. There we go. Ooh. Everyone that comes in here should be following his account because he does amazing art and some of the stuff that you work on as far as just doing your tutorial drawing stuff for like your feet, your hands, oh your my gosh, those are like amazing. That. It is incredible. Oh, thank you. The incredible edible leg. I mean, yeah. <laughs> It's the incredible edible egg. You're showing all the things that make made out of chocolate now. I would not be surprised. Right? Like if you did you any of you uh watch the watch the boys? Yes. I've watched season one. I've not gotten around to season two yet. Okay, I won't spoil it, but there was one of the act, one of the actresses kind of got a, a gift a gift bag for season two, where it's, okay. where, it's a, where it's a chocolate made out made out of a uh, specific character from season that's from season two. <laughs> that's funny, Luke. I did say like. All right, I need a color background. What color should the background be? Uh, blue. Like this pebble blue, maybe? Let's see. Yep, let's do pebble blue. All right. Of course, pebble blue looks like it's about out. Why do I always pick the blues that are no good? Exit Jesus. And where are you about, Luke? I forget. I know you've told me before, but I'm drawing a blank. Canada. Da. Canada. Da. Canada. Canada. Da. Why is it raining in Canada and it's raining in Michigan? He's probably close. He's in Windsor. Oh, so the cool part of Canada. I'm still mad that you guys have Toys R Us's and I don't. Toys R Us's. And I just want to blame Canada. Blame Canada. Okay, so we're, we, we're having the same storm front then. Yeah, 
yeah, so when the borders open up, we need to do a meet and greet because I'm coming up to Toys R Us. But they, they don't want me to go get toys yet. I've also heard about your amazing, like, super dollar stores that you guys have up there. They're called something else. But I've seen different crafters go into these dollar stores, and I was like, what? You guys have all of that in, like, a discount dollar, like, store, dollar, whatever? Like Dollar Tree? Yeah, it's like a Dollar Tree, but it's, they're amazing. They're, like, the size of, like, Super Kmart. Oh, my Lord. You know, until I see proof, it ain't gonna happen. I'm not I'm not buying happen. into the coming back to the U.S. Yeah, the dollar <laughs> store, but it's eighty three cents. Um, the reason why is because there were reports that when Toys R Us closed down originally, that KB stores were coming back for the holidays mm -hmm. and that they were going to open up so that there wasn't a vacuum yeah. of toy stores, Did and that it? never happened. Nope. So I, I call BS. I, I can't, I can't give myself hope. Where's my happy ending? Oh boy. Riley would be so happy with the squeaky markers. Squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. This marker is just about dead. I'm going to have to set this in my do not use pile again. Don't do it. Because that way I won't grab it again and be like, oh yeah, that's a good color to use. It's on time now. the whole background. Is, it, is the store called Dollarama maybe? Dollarama. I don't Dollarama. know. Dollarama. Okay, so yeah, that is the name of the store. I, I want to go visit one of them because uh, it looks super cool. Jeremy's getting all excited about dollar stores over here. It's not huge. Yeah, but like our our dollar stores around here are like just little holes in the wall. Uh, mine's not a hole in the wall. <laughs> Mine's actually pretty decent size. I will see. Then I just live in nowhere land. It has a crafter's corner and everything. Our crafter's corner is like here's two paints and a brush and maybe something you can do wood carving on. There you go. Mm -hmm. Go away now. Be happy. Live free. Okay, there. Cecil is done. Ta da! We got a seasick serpent. La, da, 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 da. That's cute. It's one of my wife's favorite toys when she was growing up. Oh, I'm going to put it back. This has to go up here no, with don't things that need refilled. I don't have refill for it, but I am going to look into some refill colors and see if I can replace leave some markers this way. Cecil! All right. What is our time here? We're at 11, 11. So we got about a half an hour left. Okay. And then we all have to go over to Lindsay's show. Sure. I don't know what this Pokemon is, so I can't color him. I can't even look him up. Does anybody know this Pokemon? Uh, if he's not in the first gen, I really yeah, struggle. See, that's my problem is I I'm OG like that. I know some of the first gen, but this one here, I'm just, I don't know. It looks okay. like it may be a rock one. Can you blow your? Can you blow yourself up? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. let's get you Push off of one. The button. I will blow myself up. And this one here. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of looks. Could be rock or maybe dragon. Yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure. I also have a... Wait, there's a dragon category now? What the heck? Yeah, there's dragon categories. Oh, my lord. Where is... That's part of the original, original crew. 
Mm. Where did I drop the card at now? Did I throw it back in here? I just cleaned the other day and I threw a bunch of stuff that I wasn't using around. Yeah, I cleaned my desk off when I did the uh, Half Star show, so in case like I needed the extra room. Yeah. And I didn't want to have like this big cluttered mess like I normally do for my show because I really don't care. It's, it's I'm arting. <laughs> it's my he artiness. Arted. He, he, he arted. Yeah, I don't know where the sketch card went, but I have a character that I drew from when I did a series of um, Archies. Okay. Um, like Jughead and all those guys. And he's, mm-hmm. he's an off character that's only been in like a few issues. And I have no idea who it was. And I come, I keep trying to look up this character. I don't know what his name is. And I've even looked up like all male characters in Archie and he doesn't show up. So I'm like, so I somehow drew an Archie character that does not exist. You just made him up? I yeah, must have. But this is starting to sound like up. my uh, oh, trying to find this specific character. So this guy here. Day. I have no idea which character in Archie this is. Oh, he looks like no a bad idea. character. Yeah, he's like probably some douche boyfriend at one point of Arch, you know, the arrival of Archie. Yeah. Like Reggie. I don't know whether he's got blonde hair, red hair, what. I just don't know. I don't know. So both yeah. of these two are going to have to set up the side until. What's really funny is I think I posted these on my Instagram somewhere at like this. So I might be able to look them up and be like, hey. I would have named them back then and I would have known what they were. Yeah. But I don't know when I posted these. In the future, I need to start drawing, writing on the back like, this is what this is. Color it, dude. Make it. Happen. I don't think I want to color either of these. I'm going to choose. Okay. If this is one, this is two, and this is three, who should I color? Um. Do Wiley. Can do Wiley. Do yeah. one. Okay. One. One Wiley Coyote. Or whatever the Tiny Toons version of him is. He's still Wiley, isn't he? Tiny Toons mm-hmm. Adventure characters. I'm pretty sure it's still Wiley. Maybe not. Sure is, like, his name is was he a main character we got buster we got babs we got plucky which is the duck hampton j pig elmira duff montana max fifi la flume go go dodo nope shirley the loon no Furball was the character that was like Sylvester. Dizzy Devil, no. Sweetie Pie, nope, that's the little bird. This would be Calamity Coyote. Mm, okay. He is a young gray male coyote with pink high tops. So I need to look up Calamity so I know what colors to do for him. Okay, so gray and pink. There we go. The only thing I gotta worry about. So it's really light gray on the inside, dark gray on the outside, and some pinkish high tops. Oh, there's my pinks. Do I not have pink? Really? That's rose. Wait, what's this color? That's rose pink. Well, how pink is that? 
That'll work. I like that color. Very good. Very good. Comes out this way and then up. And where did my grays go? Yeah, grays is something I have more than enough of. Yeah, they tend to, to come in abundance, don't they? Well, I bought like five or six different grays because for the longest time when I first started markering, I wasn't coloring at all, but I was grayscaling everything. Mm, okay. So, like, I've got a whole set of Windsor and Newton. I've got a whole set of um, Prismacolor. And then I've got this that I bought off Amazon a little bit ago, which was Master Grays. 24 unique gray tones. And that one's pretty cool. And then I have another smaller set like that. All set. I need to erase some on this. I really like how well these Looney, or Tiny Tunes, sorry, not Looney Tunes, came out. Yeah, the I really like them too. They're very, very accurate. And these were probably drawn like two years ago. They've been sitting in the two color. You gonna go and lay down, mommy? Finally, go well, on. I know it's night night time for you. Dog's like you're taking too long. I'm done with you. <laughs> I am so over it. Like oh my god. Well, she lays down inside a uh, a little pillow right up underneath the the desk here. Aww. And she usually waits for me to finish drawing because then she knows that I'll walk downstairs. And You're messing up the routine. Well, I did do that in between the shows. There we go. CG1 and CG2. We're using those for our grays. No, nope, she's just waiting at the door now to protect me to make sure nothing can come in the room. Aw, that's sweet. She's such a good mini pin. Do you have any animals, uh, Anthony? Uh, no, not not for them. Not not for a while. Okay. My animals come in human form. I was just going to say, uh, Lindsay's animals are on two legs. Yes. They speak English. Sometimes a little too well. <laughs> we're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony. We're tiny toon adventures, come and join the fun. Yeah. Did you hear about the uh, reboot? Are they bringing no. it back? Yeah, because I know that yeah, they did. After... They did Animaniacs on uh, what was it? Hulu, right? Hulu did Animaniacs, yeah. So it would only make sense yeah. to bring the Tiny Tunes back. Yeah, this kind of like a one. This kind of like a little quick, quick still. Kind of yeah. drawing a, a Buster of Babs. Kind of okay. updated. And, did they? You know, did they make them woke? No, I um, wouldn't say. I wouldn't know. It's just kind of like that one picture. It's just okay. that's at the very most. It's just Buster in a jacket. Okay. Woke tunes. Is that I what do happened? Not find any representation of any other type of cultures and or people, but I think some people are taking things a little too far. Don't mess with my childhood, man. In, in some aspects. Yeah.
Yeah. Is that what kind of happened with Animaniacs or? I, I don't know. I've watched only the first two episodes of it and I haven't gotten back to it to find out whether, I mean, it seemed like the old Animaniacs to me, but it also seemed off. So I don't, I mean, the voices are all the same and fine, but it just seemed like they were, they were running skits that seemed a little not Animaniacs. Like while they were still doing like the hello nurse, whenever like the nurse would come in. Hello nurse. Right. Mm -hmm. They, they, they did it as like an afterthought. It didn't seem genuine or like, you know, kind of forced a little bit. Yeah. So it, to me, it it didn't, uh, like I said, it just felt a little off. Okay. Uh, Because I thought she wasn't in. Because I thought she wasn't wasn't in in the new series, or because it sound the way people talk, it sounded like she wasn't really she wasn't in it. She was at least in the first episode because they were the uh, the first episode dealt with the doctor, the psychiatrist, and how he used to be you know a big time player in the uh, Hollywood industry, and he always talked to all the different celebrities, and he helped them with all their problems until the day that the Animaniacs came along. And, you know, it kind of replayed, like, how they ruined his life. And he went from being a doctor with full hair to pulling his hair out every time they caused shenanigans. And, of course, the nurse was in several different parts of the episode. And they would be like, oh, hello, nurse. And I'm like, wait, that, that's hello, nurse. nurse? No, it's, you know, hello, <laughs> nurse. Yep. And so that's why I said, it just, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so uh, best pet calling. Let's try CG four. Is that going to be dark enough? Okay, this is the third marker that I've gone for the dark gray, and the first two were not dark enough to me. It's still too close to the light one. So we go over all the stuff that I've already colored. You can always go darker. You just can't go lighter. Yep. That's why I started light and figured, okay, that should be enough. And then once I started doing it, I was like, no, that's not working. Mm. And that's funny because one of the uh, guys that I watch watched, um, he uses some type of, I want to say paint. Okay. To do his sketch cards, and he goes dark first and then lightens the stuff up. Whoa, how does that work? I would, you know what? I'll have to find one of his videos and I'll tag you in it if he still has his, you know, little like time lapse videos up and you can watch it. And oh man, it's it's beautiful because you're like, wow, he's getting really dark. There's no way he's gonna, and then all of a sudden it just starts like lighting up the highlights and stuff. And you're like, "Oh, oh, wow, okay, I see what he's doing now. Oh, yeah, so like that's cool. Like a, an acrylic paint or something kind of like it? Um, well, with, with paint, you can layer a little. And, and acrylic is, is opaque if you don't add water to it. So, I mean, it does have a little bit more flexibility on the values, but that's backwards. <laughs> yeah. Me. As soon as I finish coloring this ear up here, I will look the guy's Instagram up and see if I can find one of the videos real quick and I'll tag you guys in it. Okay. Cause I, I don't want to not describe it properly. Cause it's been a while since I've watched one. So I'm not sure what medium he's using exactly off the top of my head. So let's see. We're looking up Mikey Babinski. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. Man, these legs are all over the place. How do you know which one goes where? Okay, it says acrylics. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so yeah, this was from March 25th of 2025. So let's see, I should be able to, let's see, at the tag Lindsay and There you are. Okay, oh, yeah. tag you guys both in a sketch card he did for Aquaman. Okay, cool. And yeah, he starts out really dark with this. And it looks like he's using colored pencil as well. But it's crazy. Does he, I assume he has a sketch that he does first and then. Yes, but it, so it, it, kinda... the sketch is already pre-done. And then he okay. goes through, like, I don't know how well, let me see if this, once this starts over, if it shows up on the camera very well. Okay. So you can see how he's oh, like wow. muddying it up, going really dark. He's almost like covering the artwork up. Yeah. And then he goes through and just starts lightening it up. And you're like, he's okay. pulling. Holy moly. Wow. But yeah, it's crazy. Like I said, and that's, I was like, I need to learn how to do that. But it looks like he's using like Copic style markers to go in and darken it all up. And then he goes through with like some, like acrylic paint to lighten it up. And then he touches that it would, up. The that would pencil. make sense. Cause there's not, you're not like mixing the paint on itself. Right. You're having a nice flat base for the alcohol marker. And then you're coming in over the top of it with an acrylic paint. That makes sense. He still is an amazing artist, and he's he's the one that yeah, when I've shown that uh, werewolf really good. picture that I drew, he's yeah. the person that did the ink over that. Okay, that was really nice. Which I put back away again. Okay, so it looks like I used a gray background for both of these, so I want to stick with that for all of my tiny tunes. So now I need to find the gray that I matched that with, which was probably from this master set. Let's try Cool Gray 7 and see how well that I love Cool looks. Gray 7. Cool Gray 7 is way too dark. Oh, you will not be using Cool Gray 7. Not this time, Cool Gray 7. Let's try Warm Gray 7. That's too dark as well. And now we know where to go from there. Let's try. Oh. Cool gray five. Mm. No, not quite. Do I have a warm gray five in here? No, I'm missing warm gray five. I bet you that was it. I don't know. All right, now I have to be on a hunt for where my gray is. Let's check in the drawer here. See if I threw it in this drawer when I was cleaning. Might have been that. Boots. Lots of boots. All right. Nobody moves. Nobody moves. Nobody gets hurt. It'd be nice if I could just keep track of where all my stuff is. 
I guess going to call it call it a night here. All right, All buddy. Right. Let me uh, go full screen with you so that we can spotlight you for a second. Okay, there we go. Sweet. We'll see your artwork there for us. And please let us know where we can find you on the social, sir. Okay. Aside from here on Haps, you can find me on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all under the name Gerald Hyphen Bitten Art. Very good. Very good. And also have a, and also have a YouTube also under um, also under the same name. Nice. And pretty much catch me here on Haps, um, on Haps Thursday, Thursday through Saturday, and. And Sundays at seven seven p.m. Central Standard Time. All right, and uh, thank you very much for coming out for the Saturday Night Sketch Club. Uh, I know I'm hosting this week, and Michelle will probably be back next week. She may be taking a break. Who knows? And if not, we'll uh, we'll have you back on as soon as we can. Yeah, cool. Thanks again for having me. Not a problem, buddy. Always, always a pleasure, pleasure. Anthony. I'm Sandy here with Lindsay. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, guys. Good night. Good night. Okay. So what are we drawing today? We are working on the Fifle Goes West spider character, T.R. Chula. Right. Yes. There we go. Now we can see you. You were hiding on us. You were off I'm camera. Hiding. <laughs> I'm, I'm hiding. Yes. That's so cool. Yeah, I don't think may, very many people were going to pick that one for web. No. I did not, I did not see it. The flying arm. I love like I said, the most, most of the web was all Spider Man related. I seen I figured as much. I was actually originally going to do Spider Gwen, but I was like, no, I'll save her for Thwip. Yeah, I'm, I'm still deciding who I'm going to do for Thwip. See, I just announced my character, so maybe I'll change my mind by the time yeah, I get there. Yeah, you will there. change your mind now. No, I won't. I don't have time to change my mind. Not this week. So, yes, that is the character of the day of day 17. Yeah. Yeah, day 17. It was such a good movie. I've seen this movie like 500 million times. Someone in our country has a giant spider in their front yard why i'm okay, honestly so I, not a fan of spiders so you someone in our country has a giant spider in their front yard county. county county oh see i can never you know what whenever i read that i thought it's the never... country too but i reread it and i was like oh county that makes more yeah. sense i can never something about the word i always mess up either country or county when i'm I reading know. I know it's easy to do that. They decorate it differently for each holiday. Well, isn't that something? Um, I know like people that live out in the country decorate hay bales in various creative ways. That's a thing. All right, so I'm I'm gonna break the rules of this, uh, this oh, challenge no. again. What? Because again, I think everyone's gonna go with some type of Spider-Man for Thwip. Yeah, what you gonna do? And while this has never been an official cartoon that was out, I just found a guy who has had a pet project of turning Indiana Jones into a animated thing, and he's been working on it for the past five years, and has a bunch of stills and everything else. What? And uh, I think I, I may have to draw animated Indiana. I think that's fantastic. Because that'll be Thwip. <laughs> Indeed. Anything with the whip would be the whip. Yep. And so why not draw animated Indy? First you Thwip and then you Nene. 
<laughs> watch me swim. Watch me nay nay. That's right. Cue the eye rolls. I'll be here all night. Yes, yes. Plus, it might give me an excuse to play Indiana Jones music. Yep. <laughs> so I'm flipping through this to see if there's a really good image that I can borrow, you know, from. And someone's got a meme on here about the new Indiana Jones movie coming out. Mm -hmm. And they've got a picture of poor Indy going down with a ball rolling behind him. And he's got a walker on. <laughs> uh -huh. He's old man Indy. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Help. Mm -hmm. Old man Indy. Hey, you could do oh. that for the old. The uh, for old. Well, for old, I am going to do another one of the. Um... What am I trying to thought? Oh, Voltron cards, because I have three of them that I mm -hmm. wanted to do. Yeah. And so I've got the main Voltron figure that I did for one of them. So for old, I think I'm going to do one of the other cards from it where i'm going to draw two two or three of the pilots okay and then when we get down to 28 which is alien i'm going to do the other pilots so that way i will have drawn all three of the voltron cards very cool because like i said i've had them for a couple of years and i've been looking for a reason to and now you have one to do them and this year was my reason it was my 13 reasons why I think this is close enough to the color. This is what I'm using. This is what I'm doing. God, I hope it's not too dark to him. Okay, so when it dries, do you think that that color is going to be too dark to this, or is it going to be off enough? Um, I don't know. There. Look at that. Um, I think it'll be okay. I think so too. I just was a little worried that because the only reason why I'm doing it is because I already drew these two and they have the same color background. So I figured why not do all these with the same color? You could test it like in a shadowy spot and just like a little area and like down by his feet. Yeah. And, see, and let it sit there and dry and see if it's enough of a difference. Let's do it back here. Because you could always just go up one or down one, lighter one shade, and it would still be in the color family. Is there a shade between the light and the dark of him? Mm, maybe, maybe, maybe. That, I mean, it'll still be consistent because it'll still be the grays. It'll yeah. still be in the same color family, but it won't lose him being too dark or too light. Hey, I just colored you, and this is crazy. So crazy. Here's my marker. Color me, maybe. Oh, boy. I think that one might be... Can you see the thing that this marker does? Do you see that little lump on there? Yeah. It gets like these little crystals that form on it when I don't use these things very often. Oh, wow. They're, they're easy to just... Can you just wipe it off? Yeah. It's easy just to wipe off. Okay. But it's just weird that it happens. I've, no, I've never seen markers that do this. Um... The only thing I can think is that these right here because they're all from a specific set, may not be alcohol-based. Oh, water-based instead, maybe? They may be some type of water-based. I've never seen water-based do that, though. Um, they just dry what, out. What are these? These are What's warning wrong? choking hazard small parts, not for children. Okay. 
Yeah, it says they're professional superior artist quality double ended alcohol based permanent art markers. Yeah. But I've never had any of my It may be the ink that they're using and how it changes when it dries. Yeah, because these are all the grayscale ones. Yeah. Like this arm. Don't lock you. Luke is like, I can't stay awake. Why are you guys doing this to me? Luke is up super late all the time. Oh, is he? Is he a, is he a super late guy? Yeah. You know, I'm I'm broadcasting late in hopes that Joseph shows up because he's never come to my broadcast. What? I've always come to him. He's never come to me. Ah, that's sweet. <laughs> 11 p.m. I don't know. It's okay. He's he, he's got date night. I know it's Saturday, so that's I, I don't. Yeah. And you know, if most date nights go well, they go a lot longer than 11 o'clock. So. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. Right. And who am I to take away from date night? Um, at this point of the night, you could probably tag him. Be like, what you doing? I mean, I'm just saying. I'm going to have to tell Michelle. From now on, you're going to have to log in at least once because no one comes unless you do. <laughs> oh, that's not true. No, I know. I'm just teasing. I love you. Well, we are up to 148 views. Woo so it's not like somebody hasn't seen this. this but I true. think they were all here for Anthony. Yes. All of his adoring fans beating down the door. <laughs> we only come for the anime art. You don't have anime on here anymore. We're out of here. I could have somebody in here saying, you should do abstract art. Oh my gosh. Just put two pencils in your hand and make circles. Dude, Let's I not. know how to make abstract art. Let's not say we didn't. You don't have to tell me. It's not like it's hard. You should make watercolor. Just put some water down and throw color on top of it. Alrighty. Well, that was a different color gray than theirs. I thought it was the same gray. Oh, well. It's staying now. I'm done. Nope, you got, you got to start over now. I got to start over. Um, No, but I will. He's like, uh, no do something just a little different because I get these markers put away. I don't think telling an artist how to art is productive. No, it just pisses them off, honestly. Yeah, I got a little crusty that that uh, that day episode. That lovely day. No, wrong way. This way. And then I had someone tell me, calm down. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, luckily I had a, a buddy of mine in, Scotty. Mm -hmm. And he was a moderator. So he just was like, moderate, 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 moderate. And then they weren't bothering me no more. <laughs> There's a whole lot of nope. There's a whole lot of nope going on in the chat room. Like, oh, thank you, buddy. Love you a long time, bud. And then right after that is when I went into all of my things and I was like, okay, let's see, Lindsay's going to be a moderator and Cajun's <laughs> going to be a moderator and Joseph's going to be a moderator because um, they're going to, you know. We ain't got time for that stuff. Yeah, people that I trust to take care of my channel for me when I'm not paying attention. That's why when that one comment came through and it was said it was it was muted and I was like, Wow, yeah, what that it, said? It and I was clicked on it. And, I'm like, and I was like, because sometimes if it's just a bad word, I'll let it come through. But I was like, yeah, no, that one. Um, I'll respond to it. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a uh, new. We're not gonna let everyone see that. No, it's not for small minds to ponder.
protecting Luke's innocence over there. You're welcome. Yes. Well, you know, that's funny, like having someone come into an art broadcast and telling, you know, whoever anything, I mean, would they go to, you know, a, a, a racetrack and watch a guy who, you know, came in, you know, second, third, whatever, and be like, you know, you didn't take those corners tight enough. If you would have, you know, they wouldn't have the guts to say something like that. Right. Uh, yes, Luke, the software did grab that. It was yeah, not but, us. Yeah, but we do have the option to allow you to see it. <laughs> Yeah, because I could have globally unbanned it and let it go through, but it was abrasive. Let's just put it that way. But it wasn't directed at me, so that's why I took it, it was in a weird. different tone. Like, if it would have been a comment that somebody came in and directed what was said to me. I thought that it was a baiting taunt to see how, what you, how you would react to it, and then they were going to attack. And I was like, yeah. ooh, what is happening here right now? Well, that's why I took a second, and that's why I said, you know what? Let me let me make this a learning lesson, shall we? Because yeah. I didn't know the age of the person asking the question. It legitimately right. could have been, like, my grandson is six and plays online and gets taunted quite a bit like that, and he gets frustrated. Yeah, do you and, know the person? No, we did not know the person. Yeah, no, I did not know the person. They were. It was a Twitch profile. But like I said, if, if it would have been my, my six-year-old grandson coming to me asking me these questions, yeah, how would I have handled it? So that's what I took it as. I was like, okay, let's let's uh, explain this. Sure. Sounds good. If you have sarcasm in your life, it will make your life so much easier. And you <laughs> just care not to worry about these people that say these things anymore. It's true. It does come in handy. Like my 13-year-old and 10-year-old, they will destroy you if you try to come at them like that right now because their sarcasm level is is enough that makes me cringe when i'm like trying to gore. well it's like i will try to correct them with something and they will sarcasm me back and i'm like the parent in me wants to yell and be like what did i just tell you but then the the sarcastic person that i am is like high five do you know how freaking awesome that was <laughs> <laughs> i think Knowledge. you just have to, to to praise and teach at the same time right <laughs> at that point be like that was hilarious don't ever use that against me again i oh, am your funny because, like, when my 13 year old was was getting that way like around eight or nine the oh, the, the parent in me was like oh yeah, maybe yeah. i should put a curb to this but then at the same point if she's bucking me with you know as like responsibility and using a little bit of um sarcasm to come back at me uh -huh. That told me that if she's getting peer pressure to school, she's going she's, to use that same level good. of sarcasm to kind of bust back. Yeah. And I did not want to curb that. I, I want her to have that independence to be able to tell people, no, nah, yes. I don't want to do this. Yes. And yes, yes. so, like I said, it, it's, it's one point being, being very proud and the other part going, I got to figure mm. out a way to get her to realize not to use this on me because not right. only do I have very good sarcasm, I've got a temper. <laughs> and I keep it in check 90% of the time. But yeah. it's that 10% when I can't check that temper that's a bad situation. It's going to unleash the beast. Well, and, and I spent a lot of my 16 through 21 years being very just volatile, you know, with my temper. Mm -hmm. And I had to make a conscious decision like, nah, I can't live like this. Oh, that's nice. And you can't work in public relations and like, you know, counter jobs, having yeah. that type of volatileness. Yeah. It doesn't work. No. And I enjoy customer service jobs, so. Definitely does not. You know, I like how much better he looked once I went and outlined him with a heavier the, oh the yeah he really popped out it kind of set him apart yep that's so, nice while the colors may be somewhat similar it definitely all he's, right he's his own character yes he is all right so we're after 12 you got a little bit longer you want to go um yeah okay i'm okay with that I am going to work on Plucky. I just want to, I didn't want to uh, hold people up if they wanted to. Oh, leave. no. Oh, Lord, no. 
if I was going to say, you let me know when you're ready to go and, and shut it down. Cause I'll be my, here for, till you're done. My wife let me sleep in. So I'm actually pretty good. Even Sweet. though I did four and a half hours of heavy lifting and moving around to get our room set up differently. I'm, uh, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Excellent. And I'm not actually drawing per se. I'm just coloring. So it's not as intensive on my hand. Oh, good. That's good. Yep, you just let me know whenever you're ready to call it quits because I've got plenty of content to share. <laughs> and you've got three days to catch up on. Yes, I do. <laughs> so, And if it's not I'll here, just... then it'll be somewhere else. It will be somewhere. Someday, somewhere, somewhere. out there beneath the clear blue Pale sky. moonlight. Pale moon. Damn it, I knew I was going to mess it up. It's been too long since I watched it. Someone's thinking of me and loving me tonight. Yes. Uh, yeah, every little girl ever wanted to be that little mouse singing that little song whenever that movie came out. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> It was, no, that was, goes west. American Tale, 1986. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, part two was 91. Yes. 86 mm -hmm. would have made me 12. Hmm. That's how I tell my age is I know I was 10 years old in 84. So that's I base everything off of my 10-year-old age. Well, that's helpful. You uh -huh. just take 10 and add that to your age whenever you figure it out, and you'll have my age. Waha! Uh because -huh. <laughs> I was born in 84. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. If you were born in the 80s, that's that's the most important thing. You know, you, you got to experience as much of the 80s as I got to experience of the 70s. I was born in the 80s, but I am the beginning of the millennials. I can't shake that. I, as much as I have tried to fight it, it's that true. is true that you can't technically shake that. But they have made a micro generation for you it's called the <laughs> Zennials. So you're 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 more Gen X than you are Millennial. Yes. So there makes you a Zennial. So you I can mean, always go I back. Always, I always thought that I was Gen X. I never felt millennialish. -ness. Yeah. Well, it's my. My oldest daughter was born in 86 and telling her that she's a millennial. She's like, I am not. I'm like, nope. oh, yes, you are. Nope. I hate to tell you, you are. Sorry. It's true. No. no. It's like having Luke find out that Darth Vader is his father. Pretty no. Much that's not true. That's impossible. No. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. I tell you. <laughs> You'll come at me again and I'll cut your arm off. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I've got this color green. It's like... He is round. It's like a forest so green almost. What's this color green? Ah, it's just not going to be it either, is it? Actually, that's pretty close. Okay, we're going to go with turquoise green because we can. Ugh, spell correctly. Thank you, words. You spell? I do sometimes. I put letters in places. In spaces and places. Yeah, these... these... <sighs> Tiny Toon characters are all different colors. 
Yes, they are. 155. We're at 155. So, okay. So there's been like almost 10 people that came in here and one of them was knowledge. So who were the other people that popped in and just left? They said nothing. Who doesn't even um, at least does the like, hi, from wherever I'm from. Well, I think some of it's just us showing up on a feed while people are scrolling through. Oh, really? Okay. Because I think if you sit there long enough, it shows up as a view. But I'm okay. not I'm sure how that works. Sure. I don't know. Just just watch your numbers when you scroll through and see if they change without you having to click on them. Yeah, because I'll jump in a broadcast and I'll give it like three seconds. And if it's not something that's not engaging or something that yeah. I don't think I'm going to watch, then I, I leave. But if I'm there for more than like six seconds, I'm at least doing the high from wherever. Right. You know, because exactly. I'm like, hey, how's it going? Yeah. And lately I've been paying attention to anything that says, you know, my first broadcast or my first this. And I jump in and give them at least a good couple of comments. And yeah, say hi, showing you yeah. some love. Perhaps family hello. Yeah, they welcome to the world's best broadcasting service. And I don't say that just artist. because I'm uh Oh, what's what I just lost what I was gonna say. Because you're going for your perhaps VIP ness? Yes. No, I was trying to do the old commercial <laughs> word. I'm not just a this. I'm I'm not just an actor. I'm also a patient too, or something. Oh yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't. If my brain just. Pfft. Yeah, you're gonna forget that now. You don't need that. Not needed anymore. Thank you. Thank you. Next. People over on Twitch are like, "How is this gaming? Why are you on here?" Because it's not gaming. It's in the arts or just chatting category, depending right. on how you have it set up. Mine automatically go to the arts category, and I will switch it manually if necessary. I have mine in first-person shooter. <laughs> It'll get more views that way. Pew, pew. It's like when I'm at work and I play Call of Duty Modern Warfare. <laughs> We're all Someone drives gaming. by a Hilo and I shoot them and they have to slump over and, and let their Hilo drift aimlessly while until they respawn. <laughs> Not really safe, but it's what happens. It's true. All right, we've got six boots, two arms. Okay, all appendages are accounted for. I'm just going to leave it as sketch mode and move on to the next one and then you're just gonna you're just gonna post it like that for now and then color it at a much later date i don't know what i'm posting yet but this is definitely where i'm stopping on him for today for the moment it looks good though i like it yeah he's looking pretty rad i'm kind of happy with him mr chula okay so that was web now yeah, you're doing that was 17. cool cool And I don't need this. I really wanted to do Iceman on cool, but. I'm doing the California Raisins. Then I said, well, let's just draw Gem. I may have nightmares tonight. <laughs> Why are you going to have nightmares? Why is he having nightmares? Is it for the giant cowboy spider? Because he's pretty frightening. I mean, I don't, I really, really don't like spiders, so. Or maybe he doesn't like green ducks. Maybe. I mean. All right. So. We're going to hear it from the grapevine for a little while. Can, can Canadians have nightmares? I mean, are they not just like. Yeah. yeah. Turquoise. He's not. He's not green. He's turquoisey. And turquoisey. He's like, you're crazy. Man, I'm just coming up with all kinds of new words, perhaps. <laughs> We're going to have to start writing all these down so we don't forget. Oh, no wonder my... 
Haps Lingos. Thing feels you weird. Happen to hear it? So I have and this I nice. To... Go ahead. I have this nice big long springy stretchy cord for my headphones. Yep. Which is amazing. And so yesterday, I while I was filling all the goodie bags with all the stuff, I was listening to <laughs> broadcasts. But I have it set up in a certain way where my cord rests on my little boom arm here. And I was like, why is my wire like always in my way? Mm. I was like, oh, I forgot to put it back where it was. This here, if this I were to don't put touch headphones up somewhere, these are the headphones that I would have to play with. Ooh. Like the gaming headphones? Yeah. But I'm not sure how it would work. Why do I know you, if I do, I can't have my speaker on. Right. Because it plugs into the same spot. Oh. So I might have to try it next time we get in a big, like, six-person battle royal on here. Because you need more, like, um, USB port sort of thing? Um, no, it plugs right into the actual um, oh the power adapter little thing. pink and yellow or pink and blue blue and, and green like jack in and jack out. I see. It, it's not a USB one. I see. Gotcha. It's crazy. Not gaming music though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I like this. <laughs> It doesn't doesn't seem very gamey ish. Okay, so what about Luke? Are you going to come up here and talk with us, or not? Are you just going to type all night? Yeah, Luke, you can you can you can come up and chat. So you don't have to type. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a Windows user. I'm not a Macer. Sure. I thought is he already invited? I'm I he was. sending it to him now. Uh, he's already in there. Boom. Boom. Boom sauce. Luke will summon the eyeballs from the great beyond. What's up, Luke? Oh, I thought he came in. Oh, oh he's trying. He's trying. Joseph Book. Oh, Joseph. Oh my god! Are you like running amok in amusement parks, or are you chilling at home, or other? Oh, did Joe come in? There he is. Hey, Joe. He just came into the chat. I believe there is a uh, invitation if you'd like to join us, sir. How are you tonight, Luke? I know you've been chatting I'm with us. Good. Very good. There's our Luke. What? What? You're not at the amusement park at 12.23 a.m.? What? What kind oh, of amusement you never park know. do you go to? You I'm never teasing. know. I don't know these these things about what he does and what he doesn't do. And I try not to make assumptions. Maybe he went to an amusement park in Chicago where it's only 11-something. Hmm. Mm. That's true, but would be kind of. But that would be a long ride for him all the way from Florida. Indeed, it would be. I would say that would even but be maybe considered he flew a vacation. On his airplane. Burke Airlines is his, right? Wow, um, he has an airline. Maybe. Or not. No invite. Well, we're going to resend you another one. I, Boom. Oh, there you go. I sent that one out originally. Yeah, he was on the list when I looked. There we go. I don't know. Sometimes they just disappear. I guess. I don't know. See, we, we, we added Luke to the broadcast and it went from 155 to 163. Oh. People are like, Boom, I need to look see at that. Luke. I didn't oh. see that I was up on the screen. Thanks for. <laughs> I'm, I'm not drawing. Welcome to the show. 
No, and, and if it's, it's okay, a show, kind of, you're, oh, you're, okay. just, you're just it's, helping the broadcast just, by being part of us. You're you're a part of the everything, Luke. Thanks. You're welcome. Good to be a part of something. See, while this is the ske- Saturday sketch party, we're doing the sketch part. You're doing the party part. Yep. Oh, great. I no was asked to, to dance earlier today. <laughs> what do you mean there's no way to join? Oh, mobile. Mobile. oh, you have to go out? Go out, check your notifications, and then come in that way. You've oh. or, or started He's come in that way before. Show up. No join option. I could here. I'll uninvite and then reinvite and see if that works. This is silly. It shouldn't be that way. Okay. I just, just removed you and, and then added you back. I wish I could just click on his name and pull him over to the list and pull him in. That would be so nice. Okay. It, it worked that time. Okay. So there's a glitchy. We mm. should uh, notify Haps about that, that we were getting you, a invite glitch. Because I'm wondering if anyone else tried doing the same thing. Probably. There he is. There's the man beast himself. Hey, Joe. Oh. Hey. All right. There he is. How's it going? We can't hear you, though. Where are you at? Happy you know Sunday. What? I'm going to kill that music so we have just us in here. Someone turned off the lights on him. <laughs> I think he's re- retrying something. I know he had that. This is not what I want to do look on his face. He's like, it should be working. Why like, oh, is it not working? Jeremy was here. I'm out. You know, after the last couple of HAPS updates, I thought, wow, it finally works. Apparently I was wrong. <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah. Do we have sound? Bueller. I don't hear him. Uh-uh. No sound. Hmm. Boo. It's taking so long from the sound to get here. In Michigan, from oh, Florida. from Florida, right? Yeah, it, is it, that what is that what it is? It is. It's just, it's, it's got uh, to be. I wish that was the truth. Yeah, I heard they're working on infrastructure, though. I mean, we can hear Canada clearly because he's ten minutes away. Right. True. How's that? That logic does not. I looked stay up where sound. you are approximately right. according to your bio on the map, and right. I guess when I go for a drive and look over toward Fermi, okay. you're behind that. Yeah, I'm. Li- oh. I see the smoke from Fermi Hello? like almost every day. Oh. I hear him now. Hey, I hear him. Hooray! Hear him? Well, I'm on my phone. Um, oh. God, well, your hair always looks amazing. Dude, this is like freaking got out of the shower hair. hair. No, there's no product in it. But mm. thank you. Naturally my, my, sexy. Yeah, see, mine's all like <laughs> back, so it's all afroing up on me right now. It is pretty sexy. Mm. My wife likes running her hair fingers through my hair. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Indeed. All right. So how's the weekend going? Busy. Busy. How's Universal? Amazing. <laughs> Pretty darn good. Good. Must be so cool having that so close. Yeah, it's only 20 minutes away. Oh, it is. Pretty rad. Oh, neat. Yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll make Luke come down here and then I'll drive to Cedar Point and we can go to the amusement park. Oh, fun. Because it's about an hour and a half away from me, so it's not bad. The question is, do you do top-fill dragster? Yes. Good. I have done it. At first, it might 
<laughs> my, my German exchange student who forced me on it the first time, I was cursing her name. You know, I drove that like I've, I've ridden it like five times. Oh, wow. Well, you can you can ride it five times in like 20 minutes if they were the line was because it's literally like a 36 second long ride. Hmm. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> done. Um, Oosh. last time we were there, I believe it was 2013. Uh, Might have been pretty, right around the last time I was there. It's been a long time. It's been a while, but um, it's fun, though. I do like it up there. Yeah, the last two times I was there, I bought the uh, the Fast Track Pass. And I don't think I can go there now without paying for that. It's expensive, mm -hmm. but well, we, I can't stand, stand in lines. We, we dropped some major money this weekend on <laughs> our passes. Oh. We uh we didn't get the gold or the silver or we went premium. Nice. Free val free valet parking, um twenty percent off oh, wow. merch in the park. Uh cool. no block out dates. We can go um <laughs> plus two additional months for, for buying premier. Mm -hmm. Um so you get fifteen nice. months instead of you get fourteen months instead of twelve. Very nice. Hey, Brandon, what's up? Hey, Miss Gabriel. 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 What's up? Yeah, we're not going to, we're going to keep that comment hidden. Uh oh. No, no thanks, uh, Code and Joe's. We're, we're not drawing Peppa Pig tonight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What if I want to? You can draw mm -hmm. Peppa Pig if you'd like, sir. Well, it's it's cool to see see you too. How's it going there, Gabrielle? Hello, Gabrielle. Little Saturday night sketch party going on. That's we got right. two gentlemen in here bringing us the party while the other two of us are doing the sketching. <laughs> well, see, I've already called up uh, oh, today's yeah. work. Yeah, so I went ahead and uh, when was that? I Thursday, Friday night. Yeah, I did. the other night you you got ahead of yourself because you had plans. I knew Very nice. where I was going. I knew you were an entrepreneur. Huh? What's up with my freaking hair tonight? That's what happens when you have long hair. So I know I'm I know nothing about that. Doing one. another series on here, Joseph. And I kind of want to do like an interview style. Made you show. some buffalo sauce? Yes, buffalo. Nice. Wow. But, uh, I want to do a show called Spotlight, and that has nothing to do necessarily with drawing. And I want to do some like interview stuff with some people. So I'm I'm thinking of adding you to that list if you don't mind. Sure. Okay. It'll just basically be the. Two I got a I got a really simple question for you though. Are you going to be holding an actual spotlight? Um, it's going to get warm. Well, I've got. Hold on. Oh, here we go. I've got this one right here that's kind of like a okay. spotlight. It's down. It, it works. Like, ah. And well, if I turn all the other all the other lights off, it looks like a spotlight. Well, okay. <laughs> you know, you got to hold the lantern. You know, you yeah. Oh, dude. I'm super jealous. <laughs> that is <laughs> such a cool piece of... Nerddom? Yeah. Here, I'll get I'll get over here for you. You can see my, my green lantern. <laughs> that wow, cool. that's nice. I don't know which way I need to turn. Oh, there it is. Nice. Yeah, I've I've got a green lantern ring somewhere, but it's. Uh, I, don't yeah, know. I can actually <laughs> hold the lantern while I'm on your show. I did yeah, very nice. <laughs> Just the way it's made, it looks almost. Just do the like whole show holding it. Cartoon or something. Well, uh, yeah, it's patterned Amazing. after the comic comic version of the Green Lantern. Hmm, neat. Pretty cool, huh? Indeed. I, so I, use, it as a, you... I use it as a door prop. <laughs> ah, clever. Yeah, Hal Jordan would be <laughs> mad at me right now. C.S. Murphy! Welcome, Mr. Murphy. Did you get your project done? Hello, Mr. Murphy. We meet again. I think he has an invite in there. I've been too. hanging out on Green Room. Up. Not even close. What's that? I've been hanging out on Green Room. 
what is Green Room? Spotify and Anchor merged together oh. to create a brand new uh, mm-hmm. voice chat room stock by Clubhouse. Oh wow! Interesting. Pretty cool. Anything anything worth noting over there? It's definitely different from Clubhouse. Oh, good. Mm. <laughs> Not even close to finishing your project. Well, I, I wish you well in your project and hope it goes well. So we know all of the DC people who have held Green Lantern rings as far as the green ones. Who in the Marvel Universe do you think would be worthy to pick up the green side of the ring, Joseph? I would either be Steve Rogers. That was my thought process as well. Um, yeah. There's nobody else that would not have a pure heart or have... Um, even Thor has had his moments of folly that's not... Yeah. So the only pure in heart would be Steve. I mean, even Spider-Man's had his moments, so he can't even. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's not Steve, the only other person I could think is Deadpool. <laughs> no, she's <I'm> teasing. <laughs> That's a total Ryan Reynolds joke mm. there. Mm. Do you know who in Marvel is the equivalent of Green Lantern? I do not. Really? Well, that would be Dr. Spectrum. Ah, okay. He's lesser known. Sense. He's lesser known. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. I don't know what colors this little Roadrunner is either. I would think they'd be similar in color to their adult form, mm-hmm. yeah? No, they changed Not all always. the colors up. Darn you! Uh, <laughs> Roadrunner is red. Hmm. He's Dark red and kind of like an off red and purple shoes. So let's see if I can find some purples for the shoes. And where's my. Is that rain coming through the microphone? Yeah, I can hear it. It's real quiet, but I can hear it. Oh, okay. Well, the grass is definitely going to grow this week. Yep, you'll have to mow again. My grass is already needed cut. Uh. like an orange his so red and orange is the color it's called beeper beaker beeper little beeper beeper his name okay. i want to that try to be sense. online tomorrow night guys with the creative multiverse Yay. so That's i just cool. got to get on the computer and schedule it um try to can keep it consistent with uh, wednesday night and sunday night and that's going to start at 10 or 11? Probably 10. All right. If it starts at 10, I can probably get on for a little while. But Sunday right. nights, so I can't sleep Sunday nights anyway, so I don't know why I try to go to bed <laughs> earlier than <laughs> 1 anyway. I never get to sleep before 1, so there's no, no point in trying to fight it. Hmm. Yeah, I got you. There, you can say hi to Deadpool. Hi, Deadpool. Hi, Deadpool. What's hanging? 
Sorry, the microphone's literally in a cup holder. I hear that. It's in a cup holder. Nice. <laughs> my mom brought me something today because we had dinner with my father. Mm-hmm. Her father's oh, wow. and she was um she was digging through um they have this like old cedar chest. I don't know if you guys remember the old cedar chest. Mm-hmm. Cedar chest. Mm-hmm. I love cedar chest. And she came across a box of mine. Had some of my original cassette tapes that I used to listen to. Uh, wow. Um, so I have original release cassettes of like REM, um, Smashing Pumpkins. Mm, yeah. I mean, you know, when um, the song Tonight, Tonight came out. Yep. It's that album. As I have the cassette of that. Um, mm. Michael Jackson's Dangerous album. Ooh. Wow. It's a pretty heavy hitter of an album. Yep. Um, but then she found this guy, uh, and I couldn't believe it. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, so, that's 19, that's this dude's from 88. And I'm like, I, I didn't even remember I had a Punisher figure. So, I was like, are you sure that's mine? She's like, yeah, you played with it. I, I just couldn't remember it. <laughs> cool. But he's from the same line that these were manufactured from. So it's Toy Biz. Oh, cool. Man. And so Toy Biz had a Marvel license back in 88 wow. and 89. And, uh, yeah. Very nice, Mom huh. Burke. Mama she Burke did good. She win. did good. And then she pulled out this guy. <laughs> There's more. Oh, oh yeah, you got the Toxic Avenger. Oh, wow. Even Great. complete with flag. Um, of course. Oh. It's Joe Burke's toys we're talking about here. <laughs> nice. I would expect nothing so, less. So cool, man. And he came out when? Toxic Avenger is like 86. So, hmm. yeah. Cool. So I bet you, you you could score some heavy points selling that guy if you ever. Oh, I don't know if I'd sell to. it though. Yeah, I don't know if I'd sell that. You know. Yeah. But uh, let's see what we got here. Let's uh, let's have a look at what Joe Burke used to listen to on his little Sony Walkman. <laughs> Little Jolly Burke. All right, so we have. Ooh, good album. Straight up, now tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Oh, 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 oh. 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 All right, so here's a classic. Mm. Yeah, it is. Monster. <laughs> I mean, and oh yeah, Atomic for the People. Everybody hurts. Yep. Great Everybody album. Hurts. Sometimes. Brian Adams. Oh, Everything wow. I do, I do it for you. Yep. I like that whole album. Yeah, I do too. But you know what, Jeremy? There's no love like your love. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Uh, that was so good. Rod Stewart. Which good one food. is that one? Vagabond. Heart. Okay. Yeah. So I, I mean, I. I... Oh, here's the that's the money, money, money pot right there. Yeah. I could. I mean, it's in such good shape. Hmm. Now, if you just had something to play it on. Yes, my Sony Walkman is arriving next week. Oh, very oh. cool. Wow. I bought a, a Sony Walkman. Get this on eBay that was never used. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yes, I'm paying a pretty penny for it, but you know it's it, it needs to be in your collection of retro. Oh, buttons. it's it's going to be in my collection. I believe I this is Limp Biscuit's version of the Mission Impossible theme. Ooh, huh? Because Limp Biscuit did a remix of it. Yep. Oh, here we go. Alanis said. Oh wow. Ooh. Great. Ironic. Isn't it ironic? Now, is that like the uh, A and B single. side where it has one song and so it'd yeah. be like a, yeah, it's, a, single? It's a single? 
Uh, wow. I bought so many of those on cassette. Kiss from a Rose. Really? Yeah, so that when they released singles back in the day, you could get these for like three bucks. Yeah. Hmm. And, and that really way you'd have you yeah. Um let's see here, what else we got? I don't oh, remember that around Teenage here. Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out of our shelves. Very cool. Turtles. Okay. <laughs> let's see here. Oh, we got some boss, hmm. Bruce Springsteen, Streets of Philadelphia soundtrack. Very nice. Yep. Hmm. Um this one um I, I totally forgot about. Peaches by the Presidents of the United States of America. I have wow. that whole album. Moving That's to great. the country, gonna eat me a lot of peaches. And it's in peach color. Cool. It is. And we got Mr. That Steve. whole Rainbow. album is fantastic. Bring me a high and love. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, here we go. Gangster's Paradise. Oh, my Lord. Yes, that is some good Coolio. stuff right there. Coolio, 95. I mean, come on. Who doesn't know the words to that song? Errol Seriously. Smith. Janie got a gun. Back when they were still playing good music. Yeah. Ooh. Back before it went to crap. <laughs> oh, here we go. UB40. Wise mid sea. Mm -hmm. uh, young me thinking that was an original song by them. But I smashing pumpkins tonight. Tonight, I was just gonna say, is it tonight? It is, bro. It is. So that's a little glimpse, and it it looks like I had I had made a CCR wow uh, mixtape. Mixed. <laughs> I, would, yeah. I know I have them somewhere in the garage, but I would love to find all my mixed tapes. And the the oh. most weirdest oddity in this whole collection is <gasps> that <laughs> my Ronald unopened in the factory seal, oh my gosh, that which is contains random. that's my Ronald. Wow! <laughs> exactly what's inside. That is gold. Side B. The treasure map song, Save the Aliens, and That's My Ronald. Okay. Um, not really sure hmm. where that came from. McDonald's, um, I'm going to guess. Well, yeah, but mm, I, good call, not, let's see. it wouldn't be one that I would personally <laughs> put into my collection. Right. Um, huh. So there is that. <laughs> wow. That's. Yeah. But uh, you know, I have I have to say I, I was I was a decent uh, I was a decent kid. You know, I listened to some decent music. I think you picked that up trick or treating, and someone slid it into your bag. You know, that's probably true. Alexa, oh. stop! Wait, mine just stopped. Why would you stop my Alexa? Oh, well, mine was <laughs> mine was going crazy just then. I'm sorry. No, I, I wasn't playing her, but you did activate mine. Okay, I'm sorry. You're only supposed to listen to my voice. All right. All right, we're up to 187, people. We're on my way for my VIP ness. <laughs> <laughs> Your VIP penis. Yep, well, it's the VIP. My That's the goal. VIP. This has been going on all night, Joe. <laughs> oh my! It started what two days ago? Yep. Oh wow! I was. I had another gentleman drawing with me, and I said, "Yeah, we're trying to get our VIPs together. You know, that's why we're broadcasting together." And I, you know, I was trying to be like usefulness or this or that ness. N E S S, and I said, "Yeah, we're trying to get our VIP ness." Check that out, Lindsay. Oh, dude, that Guardians awesome. Volume Two and One. Ooh. Welcome, wow. Well, I had I had to buy these because I got my new Harry Harry Cubs in the house. I had to buy these because my new Walkman's coming in next week. I'm, I'm inviting Eric. Eleven bucks on Amazon each. That's that's each. awesome. Each. Twenty bucks for, for both of them. The Eric, fact you're able to listen to him in a Walkman while walking. 
That's yeah, that's bro, beyond. Bro, uh, there's just something about physically owning music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, not streaming it, owning right. it on a on an LP, on a vinyl, or or on a vinyl is good. Yeah. Or you know, something that is tangible that you can I'll you can put into right a player. And, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too old school. I don't know. But it's just for me. It's it's very sentimental. Um, mm-hmm. and I have a really kick-ass boombox to play the stuff in. So yeah, cool. Yeah, I have a retro boombox, Jeremy. Hmm. He'll be right back. He said he's going to be right back. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to be on too long. I was at the parks today, and I did 8.2 miles. In two wow. Moving and, a, moving and a grooving. Well, by the time you walk, by the time you walk from the parking lot to the front gate uh, at Islands of Adventure or Universal Studios, you've already done 0. 0.5 mm. miles. Yeah, it's quite a trek. It's it's an insane trek from the from the parking garage. So now, being said about the whole owning physical copies of something, I was at yeah. a garage sale and picked these all up, and I do not even have the player to play these on. Please say they're eight tracks. These are laser disc. Back to oh, the Oh god, ha, dude. Ha. So. <laughs> Oh, I, I mean, that. they're very cool, but that's that's freaking awesome, bro. Part mm-hmm. two, part three, I bought wow. everything that they had. So I've got this Crusher Joe anime and wow. Crusher Joe the movie, and oh. it's got all the, the fun stuff on the inside. And then there's whatever this is, and it's not in English, so I have no idea. But it's a label. It it looks like a mental trip of a good time. Cool. Yeah. And then this is more. Excellent. And I have no idea what this is either. And then this anime, which is supposed to be Lupin the third, but it's spelled Rupin, so I'm not even sure... (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, I, I bought all of the whole stack here for ten dollars, and I only really wanted the three. You bought all of those for ten dollars? Yes. Yeah. And oh, like I said, so I'm cow, going to eventually dude. buy a laser disc player so I can play these because uh-huh. they have to be watched. You know what you need to do? You need to go on Amazon and find yeah. a good, uh, like a good Magnavox hey. or Sony laser disc player. Yeah. You can and you can them? hook that up. You can hook it up to. Um, they make now VGA plugs that that vga from one device to hdmi oh yeah. there we go yeah i've got one and of so and so you can um you can plug in your analog and your vga and it'll go straight into an hdmi port and it, it won't upscale mm-hmm. it but it'll play it in its native resolution and and of course you know i had to buy this on vhs because i found oh, it oh yeah oh you, yeah you know this was a quarter so i was like all right yeah i'll take it yeah, anything back to the future for sure. Yeah, pretty Thanks much for well, that. Guys. Years ago I got rid of most of my VHS when hey, I converted. Eric, how's it going? Blu-ray. Welcome, Eric. Eric. Right, Eric. Thank you for the Haps Hug Award, Gabrielle. What's up, what? Eric? Can he hear us? He looks a little frozen. Is he fro- oh. I was gonna say oh. that he's not having moved. connection issues that all of us are having. Hello? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hello? Well, guys, it's about 1 o'clock. I think I'm going to bounce, if that's cool. Okay. No, that's, I'm just glad oh. we got to see you. Take care, Joe. Uh, time we get to see you. That's amazing. Oh, I don't say that, dude. I'm I'm nothing special. Trust me. I'm just a nerd trying to get He's along. He's special in that short bus sort of way. Everybody's yes. special, uh, Joe. Mm. Uh, Eric. I'm just teasing, Joe. Um. I hate that I'm bouncing out as you're getting in, but I wanted to say, hey, man. Can he hear me? Um, I, I don't, don't know. He, I don't know what's His going on. His computer is whacking out. I assume he can hear you. Well, if, if he can hear me or if he comes in later, just tell him I was saying hey to him. Yeah, he says okay. his computer is going crazy, so. Oh, oh, boy. Okay. Oh, computer. Well, I should see. I shall see you guys about 10 or 1030 tomorrow night, okay? 
Yeah, okay. We'll be on. Peace. We'll be here. Bye. See ya. Hmm. I thought maybe it was just the mobile app that was uh, having issues tonight. No, it seems like mm-hmm. a couple of people are having a hard time connecting. Hmm. I'm always having issues. Well, yeah, it's not you so, so much as the tag. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Brandon says he's going. not having any issues on mobile. Now, I wasn't having oh, issues watching good. on mobile earlier, but I yeah, didn't like the, the the studio has yeah. been having issues. Mm. People getting invites. People coming in. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it worked great up until I tried to, what was it, like or something, somebody's comment or something like that. And one person I could and the next person I couldn't. It was oh, wow. just oh, so bizarre. Fun. Like comments in a row. And then I went to the other one and it showed up. And, and then back to the first, the second one and, and it didn't. You know, I can put my finger on the comment and nothing comes up. Ah. It's bizarre. Want to know the rest? Hey, by the rights. How bizarre. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm hoping they were both um, originating from HAPS and I wasn't trying to like somebody's comment that was from outside of HAPS. Mm. I hope. I don't know how that works. No. I mean, I, I don't know I, if it'll you, still show up as a like on the haps end. I don't hmm. think it really matters. Matters for anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it matters in here. Like people can see you reacting to the call. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think outside of that, I don't think it really matters. Hmm. That's a pretty good effect. It's like I'm being spotlighted. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. So what are we? I know you already told me, but my my ADD brain is not allowing me to remember. What what are you drawing, Lindsay? The California raisins. California raisins. Okay. For cool. Because that is cool. That is. And, they yeah. are totally cool. They're almost cooler than Jim. Wow, Jim. <laughs> I yeah. remember the the California raisins being over popularized and over advertised, and everywhere you looked, every commercial, every place, there was the California raisins. Mm-hmm. Truly, truly outrageous. Because they were cool. Oh, wow! Gem and the holograms is that? Yes. It? Yeah. And wow. I'm going to state that I had a younger sister and younger cousins who watched it. And that's the only reason yeah. why I ever seen it. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, that's, that's, it that's was. exactly sure. why I'm going to use. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Same. <laughs> I could have just had a pretty girl on it. I mean, that's acceptable, I think. Yeah, but was that allowed it when you're like, in, you know, However young boy I was, are you allowed to watch Pretty Girls? Sure. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason why I stayed up late with my uncle on Saturday nights to watch Elvira, but we're not going to talk about that. Elvira. I didn't even know why I was staying up that late to watch it then. <laughs> oh. She's hmm. so pretty. I don't know what it is about her. <laughs> her boobs. It's all about the boobs. Hmm. My uncle says, I'm going to the kitchen. Do you want anything? Yes, milk. (laughs) I don't know why. I want some milk. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, they really threw some weird color on these tiny tunes as far as just trying to make them different from the adult versions. 
Yeah. Because um, they weren't supposed to be the kid versions of them. They were just supposed to be kids that were idolized, you know, that idolized the original Looney Tunes. And then the original Looney Tunes taught them stuff at the Acme University. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. So the young Roadrunner was named Little Beeper. Me, me. Hmm. I am going to outline him too. <laughs> We're going to make him darker. I tend to do that with a lot of the stuff that, especially the cartoons that I do. But if I'm doing like. Well, a lot of them are heavy, heavy outline though. But a lot of times when you go over the, the lines with the markers, it really fades the, the lines too. Mm-hmm. And I don't like them looking faded. So yeah, these things get drawn like three different times. They get done in pencil, then I ink them, then I color them, and then I turn around and re-ink them. Hmm. That's disappointing. I don't get to hang with Eric much. Half the time when he invites me into his shows, I'm laying in bed just watching, and my wife's trying to sleep next to me. So I'm like, yeah, we're not going to. Not going to give up. <laughs> That's not the, not the time. I mean, I've done that once, and everyone was like, wow, oh. you're in a different position. And I was like, oh. yeah. I you know, <laughs> threw my headphones on so that I wasn't really waking my wife up. But Speaking of Nazim, is it time for him to get up yet? It's close. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, uh, famous for doing that. And, uh, it's okay for some reason when he does it. Perfectly he's, fine he's, for he can, Italian nudity. He can nudity. pull it off. Yeah. Perfectly acceptable for Italian nudity. I mean, he literally just opens his eyeballs and grabs his phone and turns it on as the whatever cast is going. Yeah. Wow. It's like, dang, dude. Like, get up and go pee first or something. <laughs> Seriously. Something in the world could happen and I wouldn't be there. Mm. Yeah. He's fun. I like the team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like I've known him for a really, really long time. <laughs> Six years. Really? Wow. Unless you knew him before Blab. Mm. See, I just got onto social media not that many years ago, and I've only been doing live stuff for maybe three. Hmm. Periscope was my first live stuff. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. I didn't, uh, I did nothing on Facebook. I tried a few different lives on Instagram, but it was recently. I don't really care for Instagram's lives. Well, they don't go out anywhere except for that specific platform. Right. And even that, I've got 800 plus people that are subscribed to me, and I usually get like two views. I'm like, yeah, okay, I spent an hour doing good this. Old, like, good old Facebook algorithm working for you. Yeah. Don't worry, we're sending out information to your people that subscribe to you, and we, they'll be in shortly. Ding. Right. Ding. And I'll be dead by the time they get here. Right. <laughs> now, I had done one October where I was trying to do my Drawloween stuff live on there since Drawloween was mm. a holy Instagram thing. And I did get the Drawloween account that would come in from time to time saying hey thanks for you know doing this this is awesome yeah oh, man. which is cool I liked it mm. but that was the year I burnt out and didn't finish the didn't finish it all I did 10 of them I think but I was doing oh. two different uh, challenges that month I was doing Inktober and that Inktober one and the other one too that's a lot. And I think what, what got me was the the topic for the day was mummies on a plane. And I couldn't figure out 
how the story that I was doing was going to carry on to Mummies on a Plane because the previous issue or episode that I had drew Mm -hmm. had them doing something up on the moon. And I was like, how do I now get them going back to earth on a plane with mummies on it and make it, uh, and I just, I couldn't, couldn't figure out how to draw it. So I just, I didn't, uh, I didn't. And then the next day was something else. And then I was like, you know, still working on Inktober. And I was like, okay, I'll get to that this weekend. And it never yeah. came I never got back to it. Once I, once I hmm. dropped the ball on it. Hmm. Cause with, hmm. with uh draw Halloween, they don't give one word topics. They give like a little Const- statement. Yeah. Oh, really? Which, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have the list handy. I don't even know where my book is that would have had it in them. Because before my planner, I was using just a notebook that I wrote the stuff down in. I need the planner. Let me see. No. No. Wow. No. <laughs> that was the first year draw Halloween. So this is how we get good at drawing. Yep, yeah. repetitive. Draw over lots. and over again. Yes, ah, draw Okay, lots. here we go. Here was the one that I did draw Halloween of last year. That that um red and yellow striped thing looked like Ronald McDonald's arm. Yeah, it was kind. Of, it was a Ronald McDonald scary thing. Or whatever. Oh wow! Cool. I can't. This was something about witches brew or something. I can't remember the exact thing, but that was that. This was. Wow, swamp it thing. Was creature from. Oh, creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah, it was Black Lagoon, Man. but there was something to do with beans. It was maybe creature from the Black Bean Lagoon. And so Lagoon. I did go over. You know, and that's why I drew the creature. <laughs> and then, but like I said, I, I, I wrote a little story for each of these of what was going on. And I was like having the witch contact certain different people to get the Halloween party back together. Because these a lot of these were characters that I drew last mm-hmm. year. And I started re, you know, upping the characters. Um, just like this right here was uh, the Frankenstein that I lo- used last year. And I made him a radio show host. Mm, that's fantastic. And uh, so this was him going out to dinner with his wife. And I can't remember, again, what the the topic was. Um, but that was that. And then this right here was hair care routine. Or no, scare, <laughs> scare care routine. So, oh, yeah, because I've got um, extra strength scare spray. Is she spraying into her Medusa hair? So that mm, was a new character awesome. that I made just for this. So I thought, you know, why not? And then this was some, I can't remember, mad scientist shopping or something like that. So I drew, you know, a guy going through a shop smart. Nice reference to our uh, Army of Darkness movie. <laughs> but I got like all kinds of different things like beakers and test tubes and tentacles. And mm-hmm. him asking the person for help and in, in a weird language. This was Sasquatch Watch. And I was like, how in the heck am I going to do this? So he got his SOS 911 as a human, slaps the watch, and turns into a Sasquatch. Wow. Okay. That's clever. You know, um, this was a continuation from last year's thing. I cannot, it was something to do with Treaty. And last year I had my main character was running from the pumpkin police, which is what he oh, was. God because of a crime that was committed in some type of thing. And this was them finally uh, coming to treaty and not, you know, coming after him anymore. So mm-hmm. that was a, a recreation of last year's little story. This was something about the okay corral, but I had to do with candy. And so I drew a lobster sheriff at the candy corral. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, then, wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, like cool. I said, I, I, it was it was a fun little thing. And then I had I can't remember what, but I basically I've got the lobster sheriff riding in a car with the uh, Frankenstein guy, the girl with the 
Medusa Hare and our main character, and they're heading mm -hmm. towards Area 52 instead of area wherever. And then 51, basically so I, got, area 51. I, I got them launching from area 52 up to the moon. And it was something about haunting at lunar base four, I think. So I made a bunch of little ghosts at lunar base four. Hmm. And I can't remember what this was, but I got them showing up and we got some zombie. And I got party like it's 2020. Best ghoul. And I got them going on the inside where we got Full Moon Fitness comp Company is here. And we got some, the, the yoga werewolf from last year, the Dracula from last year, the muscle guy from last year. And this is Igor putting on his gain. So he's got little tiny legs. And he's got plenty of upper body Whoa. gain. And then I think this was where I stalled. Oh no, I had some some witches doing a seance to get the story going farther again to find out that the whole thing was about him trying to take over Halloween. And I made it look like a Periscope chat room. So I've got all the different people coming in and the hearts oh, coming wow. up on the side. So he's basically live broadcasting on Periscope to uh, to tell his plan. And I, yep. This was the Ronald McDonald oh, wow. uh, announcer guy that's talking about how Ghostface plans to steal Hollywood. It's a spooky sports network. So mm. the SFN and then LeBron wins again. That was the scariest thing I could think of that day. <laughs> but that's, 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 <laughs> that's I only great. made it that many days into 31 days. And mm. I gave up. But again, I was doing a full color drawing plus Inktober. That's a lot of work. Hmm. But yeah, it's, this is, that's this is very creative. I love of, that. Wow. Sketches. Mm. And that's only a small sampling of stuff that I have sitting around here. Oh my God. Um, mm. If you don't know, I've been doing a drawing a day every single day since January 1st, 2014. So let's do our math. He has a few things laying around. I guess. So let's see. It has been 2,727 days since January 1st. So That's I'm getting close to 2,800 days in a row of drawing. And that's hmm. birthdays, Christmases, uh, power outages, um, surgeries, hmm. <laughs> vertigo. Oh, no. Yeah, that, that that was probably no. the, the I'm gonna say cheapest drawing that I ever did. I no. couldn't get up out of bed. My wife was like, "Well, you're not gonna be able to do yeah. a drawing today." I'm like, "Um, yes, I will." I like, give me something. So I sit there and I drew a poop emoji, uh, and just said, "Feeling bad." Had her take a picture of it and told her what to type and had her post it on Instagram and said, <laughs> "Yep, there's my drawing for the day." But mm. I had vertigo. I could not even move out of bed. Yeah, Gaino had that, and uh, last I checked, he was still driving really slow and taking turns really, really wide. Ooh. So I don't know if nice. it ever went away. It's that's scary stuff. Um, I had surgery that I went through and woke up and did my drawing after the surgery, which I mean wow. I was okay to draw there. Um, last November, I we, we had gotten back to work full time at the factory and I had had mm. however many months off we had for COVID. Oh. And so my hand was feeling perfectly fine. But then we went from not using my hand to working full time and my carpal tunnel right. was really bad. It was yeah. shooting pain really bad down these two fingers into my palm and then all the way up to my elbow. Jeez. I couldn't mm. hold a pencil for more than like 10 minutes without it just going numb. And so last November, I decided to put down the pen, pick it up with my left hand, and teach myself to draw left-handed. Wow. And they came out pretty good. Good. Hmm. Um, this, nope. Nope, that's Christmas one. Uh, Oh, that's a different sketchbook. That's a 
that's a different one. Where's it at? <laughs> yeah. Look, another gray set. I told you I had a bunch of them around here. Indeed you did. Hmm. No, that's my current one. Okay, so none of those, I can put them all back down. Set things up, I set them down. <laughs> that was a funny commercial. <clears throat> ah, here they are. Okay. So these were, and you know, I'm just going to pull the camera off. Yeah, I can't be able to see very well unless I do. Okay, so this is my left-handed drawings. Each day, I drew just a little section because I wasn't going to try to go big drawings doing left. But you can see, yeah. hmm. turn the camera up here, how the lines are all real shaky, mm -hmm. and like how I had to double up on his head up here because it, uh, you know, I just couldn't get the the circle down right. Um, you can see it pretty well mm -hmm. with Homer here, where it's. You know, it's it's a real shaky and choppy line, hmm. comparatively. Um, Snoopy turned out okay, but then as the month goes and I start getting a little, like you, okay. So underneath here, I don't know if you oh. can zoom up here. Can you see the pencil line in there at all? Mm, I, I have like pencil barely. line, like just way, barely. Yeah, so I have like pencil line like way out here, and like his foot pencil line is like way in here. So while I'm doing it hmm. left-handed, I'm sitting here like, you know, sketching it. And then when I got around to actually inking, I would have to take the pen and hold it like this hmm. so, that I, so oh. that I could ink it with a little bit more control as opposed hmm. to because I don't have the fine motor skills to, you know, draw like I would with my right yeah. hand. Hmm. I, I've gotten better, but even like the words... I made sure the words are written where everything was done left-handed. So whether I colored it or inked it or whatever. Yeah. So you can see like with the, their helmet up here, it's all real choppy. And like, I went over the line like two, three times just to get it to work. But yeah, I did all of these left-handed started doing some with color just because I thought that they needed it. And I was, like I said, I was trying to challenge myself because yeah. my thought process was as bad as my hand was, I thought I was going to be having to have surgery like, you know, mm. soon because I could not function. And I was like, I'm not going to go and break a streak just because I can't use my right hand. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I went and, like I said, challenged myself to do, Yeah, this was drawn on Thanksgiving Day. Mm -hmm. And I was as I'm drawing him, I'm like, okay, so he's just watching the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Someone was like, well, if he's watching the Thanksgiving Day Parade, he's got to have a mask on because he's not allowed to be outside without a mask. And so I threw a mask on him for, oh. for COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we never, did, <clears throat> we never did the outside thing here. Yeah. And there's that, and then uh, lightning here, which I don't draw vehicles oh, wow. all that well. And the fact that I was able to pull that off left-handed, I'm pretty happy. Hmm. But then after a month of doing that and letting my hand rest, I went right into doing right-handed gargoyles. Oh wow! You know, yeah. so these these just this was a very <laughs> fun month. I've never, hmm. you know, I had never really tried to draw real gargoyles like i've done disney gargoyles plenty of times mm -hmm. but i just went through and found different pictures of real life gargoyles and tried drawing wow different stuff someone That's had went through one. and made up a prompt list for gargoyles it was actually uh julie over on periscope okay she came up with a month prompt did anybody ask you after seeing these to do the side of their full-size van or anything no but I, I i would i would love to do a van oh really cool. see like now this one here this is the only one that i think i threw some color into the day's topic was ivory and i couldn't figure out how to get ivory to look right so i threw the green in hmm. you know in certain spots to make it look yeah. like it'd be white with that thing and i think it 
I accomplished it. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Oh, I did a half gargoyle here because I think it was transformation was was the key. So I did them half mm-hmm. going in and out of stone. Right. Oops. I had him, uh, the, this day here was computer. So I took the guy from gargoyles and I had him looking at my wonderful world of drawing page. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, because the, uh, come on, quit. Scroll over, is that still in here? Yeah. So this is my normal banner that I put on the beginning in front of my show, not this show here, because this is a sketch party, but. Sketch party. Or sketch party club, whichever. Come on. So get that off of there. Yeah, the sketch party one is that one. That's Michelle's. Oh, cool. this was St. Patrick's Day and I can't remember what the topic was but I drew basically a baby <laughs> gargoyle drinking a beer with a wow. a leprechaun with his uh, pot of gold <laughs> that one was probably one of my favorite ones hmm. I think this was sci-fi and there's an actual an alien uh, gargoyle somewhere over in Europe that someone put up on a building so that's actually pretty much the exact picture off of a building. Hmm. Marvel gargoyle. This one here was would make a really nice tattoo. Hmm. Man. Yeah. And I don't do tattoo drawings, but I think I fit all of the Disney gargoyles in for the month. This there wasn't is, uh, that many of them. How many of them were there? There's five or six of them, I think. Yeah. Without getting into some offshoot characters, but I mean the main ones. This, I think, mm-hmm. is um, on uh, New York's Public Library. I think they have the lion statue that's out there. Yeah, I think you're right. This is an actual Pope hmm. drawing. That uh, they have, like I said, one of the gargoyles out there. <laughs> this was Giggle. And so I drew this. And as we're drawing her, somebody said that we need, I said, it was a little girl dragon. And they said, okay, well, then what's her name? And it's uh, Garlic the Goyle. Because she's a giggling <laughs> gargoyle. Her name is Garlic. Why not? Good man. Why not? Yep. That's the last of the things there. Here's some panel stuff. Got bored of that after a while. And I think then I switched over to sketch cards again after that. Because I was like, all right, I'm tired of drawing big. <laughs> Let's draw it all again. <laughs> hmm. But when I'm not drawing into a sketchbook like that where I have to draw something larger, I usually either draw sketch cards or I draw four by six. Like for Inktober, I'll do a four by six card. Oh, postcard. So it uh, comes out like that. Mm-hmm. So it gives me plenty of room to draw mostly a full character. Man. Yeah, I got a few different years worth of that stuff. <laughs> We're at 199. Ooh, one more. One more, and we can turn into a pumpkin. Ooh, oh. pumpkin. <sighs> okay. So this is a normal sketch card that I cut myself and as you can see the the bleed through is pretty good on this um this one right here was one that Riley sent me and the bleed through I think there's I don't really see a spot there's one little bit of bleed through right down here which is is it heavier paper 
I think so. Because yeah. he sent me two different packs of oops, mm. cards here. Wow. So this is the, the lighter of the, the two. So they're the smaller. And then he's got these ones right here, which are quite a bit thick. And I, I wanted to save these for some uh, the cards that I'm going to do for commission when I do the My Hero Academia for General Mars. And yeah. then I'm going to just go and purchase more of these cards to do them. So, But these are the ones that he started, that Riley uses now for his cards, which are... Come on, everybody quit. The ones that I've had him that I've commissioned him for are right here. So these are all the ones that I've bought off him. I've had him, I, I did this uh, Space Ghost that he just did because I haven't bought anything from him for a while, but then I've commissioned him mm -hmm. for all of these Thundercats. Hmm. Wow. Thundercats. And I've got about another <laughs> like at the cost that I bought these at, which was $5 a piece, and unless he has another sale, I won't be able to do that. And uh, But if he has a $5 sale, again, I'm looking at another $70 worth of cards. Mm. But if he stays at his current $10 price, then it's going to be a while before I finish the set off. Yeah. Mm. They're worth $10. I have no problem paying that, but I just would have to buy them at a lot slower price or pace. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> normally when I do this, I usually buy like $30 to $40 worth at a time. Mm -hmm. But I'm having him draw, like, every character that's ever appeared on Thundercats. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty... That's a lot of So, like, characters. this character here has only appeared, like, once or twice on an episode. These guys here only appeared for one or two episodes. Hmm. Um, these ones here that I showed right at the very beginning, they only had a two-episode arc. And so he didn't have much reference to to pull off of those characters. But most of the other ones were all, you know, main characters that showed up multiple times mm -hmm. throughout the series. This guy here only showed in one episode. So mm -hmm. yeah, some of these, like I said, yeah, that character only showed in one episode, but I enjoy his art and I like paying for it. So yeah, he's good at what he mm -hmm. does. Cool. Yep. I actually had someone ask me once when I was showing his cards off the one time. They're like, well, you're an artist. Why don't you just draw them yourself? Yeah. Different, am, different style. But it is a different mm -hmm. style. And uh, I like to support other people that are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're know, an artist. Why do you have other people's paintings on your walls? Right. Exactly. <laughs> you're a carpenter. Why do you have somebody else build your house for you? Exactly. Because I don't Sometimes. have the time. Exactly. It's like you ain't got time for that. And and the nice thing is I've thought about drawing Thundercats, you know, for just any challenge or something mm. like that. And I'm like, I have a nice stack of them over there. I don't need to. <laughs> oh. It's <laughs> convenient. Oh. Let's check it off for the night. Mm. All righty. I think the wife is getting ready to go to bed. I was I just hey. hearing the same like. thing on my end. Yeah, I, I just looked and seen the lights are getting dim in that way. So I'm like, okay, I think it's time to, to shut all this wrap down. Wrap it up for the night. And you got at least two of them done. That's a... Yeah, well, this one's... The sketch is almost mm -hmm. complete. Now, how many of the raisins are you doing? All four of them. All four? Okay. Yeah. I've got three of them mostly done. And then yeah. fourth lead singer and then just their feet. And they're all done. Wait, you're going to draw feet on raisins? Who draws feet on raisins? Uh, California raisins have feet. So yeah, I don't, I don't think Joe noticed, but I noticed that he pulled out a guy that I had, so I had to show. Oh, oh wow. you have the you have the twinsies. That's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I got and I got the Captain America to go with it. They're like buddies. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm taller than you, so you have to listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Wow. Well, boys, go rest and mm -hmm. hang out with the wifey poos, and I will see you guys on the next stream. Not a problem. Thank you for being here and being my co-host. You're welcome. Thanks hey, for hosting the sketch party this week. Thank weekend. you for coming on up, Luke. It was nice to Thanks to see you for inviting me, you. Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah, All just right. uh, if you drop in any of my broadcasts and I'm not full, which I never am, just say, hey. Add me, fool. And I'll say, all right, you're coming on up. 
All right, guys. Take I'm care and have a great well. night. Happy Father's Day tomorrow and all that. Oh, yeah. See you, Lindsay. Happy Father's Day. Bye, Happy guys. Happy Father's Day, Lindsay. Thanks. <laughs>